Welcome, everybody. It is the H3 Podcast off the rails. January 10th. The year is 2024. Yes, we've arrived in the new year, and this is our second episode of the year. Thank you guys for being here. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Today we have a phenomenal show that is sponsored by ExpressVPN and Gamer Subs. Love them. We love them. <clears throat> um, we are going to be doing oh, our. We're going to be doing the Gypsy Rose thing, and and you know, I this topic is so interesting. I know close to nothing about it. I haven't seen the Hulu show, which I'm assuming is why there's such a frenzy about this whole thing, right? It's got to be or definitely part of it. Yeah. Okay. Was that show super popular? It was. Okay. Yeah. The act. They were but the last line of defense. The act is the last line of defense. Thank you, Joe. So what's interesting to me is not <coughs> just her story. It's the way that people react to her, too. She has, like, there was, like, a... People got the idea that we were going to do this segment, and they go, and they there's so many people, they go, Leave! Leave Gypsy alone. You get that. <laughs> and then you get the, um, the, um, she's just not that. And what do you, what do you get? I guess it's just lots of leave Gypsy alone kind of stuff. <laughs> it's, you know, uh, and then like, oh, you're exploiting this girl by talking about her. Really strong opinions. The thing that, that I thought was funny is just, when she got out of prison, she immediately has been doing, like, she's loving it. Well, yeah, if there's anything that she's made abundantly clear, it's that she wants people to hear her story. Yeah, so this whole, like, leave, leave Gypsy alone. And then meanwhile, she's going on, like, every show. Yeah. Let you know her, yeah. I mean? <laughs> how about let, let her tell it. How about let her decide what shows she wants to go on to? You don't need to, you know what I mean? Let her actually be, like, a human being. Mm. You don't, she doesn't need to all you to be her handlers let her have agency <laughs> finally exactly and sh and she's not gonna kill again right right you know what i mean i mean obviously i at the h3 podcast can't prompt we but. hey and hopefully she's not <laughs> yeah. gonna kill again yeah. she's not gonna kill again we do not support murder here at the podcast Agreed. we do not for Agreed. the record and neither does gypsy very and I have brave. clips of her saying that. Very brave. She, she's against murder now? Absolutely. So she's changed her mind. <laughs> killing him. So I don't she think she was ever. Like, you'll see. She regrets killing her mom. Yes. Murder. Like, Interesting. Murder. There was murder in there. I wonder, though. I do wonder if uh, chat is thirsting for me. AB said, stop. They're saying you look good. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Sometimes... <laughs> I walk past you and I don't realize it's you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, so I'm actually looking forward to learning about it because I don't know. And you know what? Guy, people go like, I can't believe you're talking about Gypsy. Dude, that's what we do. This is my bread and butter. Also, everybody's talking it's about It's a huge right story, now. and I don't know anything about it, almost. So mm -hmm. I'm fascinated. It's also like true crimey, which is my shit, you know. That was the crime. So you leave Gypsy alone. How about that? Turn the tables on you. Yep. She's a human! <clears throat> she sure is. So um, that's going to be the main thrust here. We got a PowerPoint on that. We've also got tons of stuff to get to at the top of the show here uh, because we've missed so much. So let's start I'm there. I'm actually looking forward to... Excuse me. Remember I open the stream because I like to look at chat occasionally. You hear it twice for a moment. Chat is right! So let's see here. We've got... Um, oh, thank you, Charlie, for 50 gifted. That's so nice of you. Hey! <laughs> Here's an announcement that should excite people. This happened on the See You Next Tuesday that happened yesterday for members. Check this out. Is there anything to announce yet about Jeff Wittick being The Bachelor? Yes! Well, c kind of. I, I'm pretty sure it's happening. He's on board. We're starting to um, 
lay the groundwork, trying to set the parameters. That was me yesterday saying Jeff Wittick is going to be our next Bachelor. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, folks? We've got the best bachelors, don't we, folks? I mean, Jeff is the most eligible bachelor on the internet. Maybe in the world, frankly. Mm -hmm. And he is coming here a man who wants to find love. He's ready for love, and he wants to find it. So, if you've got eligible bachelorettes out there, Far and wide, this isn't just the podcast. We need the whole world to be participating in this. This is a huge opportunity. This is Jeff Wittick. He's tall, too. I don't know if you guys know that, if that comes across. He's pretty tall. Mm -hmm. okay. He's like 6'2", he's like probably, right? Yeah, I'd say around there. Yeah, you guys don't, you might not even notice that until you meet him. So he's got, like, pretty much everything going on for him. Okay. <clears throat> it's a little vain, Jeff, just to accept that. Ethan. <laughs> And I'll say this about Jeff after I've gotten to know him better. I can I feel like I can say confidently that he is really, when it comes to um, his interactions with women, a true gentleman. I really do believe that. He's a respectful king and a true gentleman. I really do believe that. So that's going to be launching around, or no, our plan is to launch it on Valentine's Day, which is next next month. On the what day? 13 or something? 14. 14. 14. So we're going to basically it's start. 14. <clears throat> we have a lot of uh, groundwork to do there, basically. But uh, we're going to bring announcements out soon. But get hyped because this is happening. <laughs> Minimum age is 25. So start finding all your bachelorettes out there. 25. 25 plus. Get them ready. Get 25. that. 25. I'm excited. It's going to be a frenzy, don't you think? I mean, Jeff Witt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> so that's exciting. Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, I got this weird autism ad on Twitter. Dude, the Twitter ads lately are nuts. Like, obviously, they're hurting bad for sponsors. And that... <laughs> which... When, when I've been on Twitter recently, it's literally, I see just straight up, like, out of the closet Nazis just, like, wishing death on all Jews. And that's just, like, the, th that's, like, cool now. Which, I must say, I liked Twitter better before. When I didn't, when Nazis weren't yeah. comfortable just saying like. Yeah, I was never a huge fan, but um, mm -hmm. yeah. I got to say, a downgrade. I think the censorship in that case was probably a good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least for me as a user, I don't want to see people wishing me death. Right. So I'm using Twitter a lot less. And, uh, now, I'm not saying <laughs> this is the new theme song of, of Twitter. <laughs> <clears throat> so the ads they've been getting have been weirder and weirder. The Epoch Times, what is this? It, look at this. This first of all, just look at this image. <laughs> <clears throat> An image of a child being vaccinated oh and then just autism. Like I understand what they're doing here. This is crazy. The, the autism vaccines causes autisms. People are running ads on Twitter. The extensive yeah, well, meta analysis of twenty five autism studies could shift the focus of research into the cause of autism. Definitely, for the record, not how autism works. It does not come from a vaccine. With peace and love, that is not how it works. Study reveals shocking findings on causes of autism. So, <laughs> shout out Epoch Times. Yeah, so are you not familiar with the what the Epoch Times is? No, what do they do there? Well, uh, it's a far-right... Uh, media publication but specifically it's um part of the uh falun gong i think it's called uh yeah the chinese like um new age religion cult thing i don't you know I've about heard this? that name i've heard that name do you know do you know uh it's called shen young i think you, it, uh china before communism the like ballet you uh -huh. see billboards for it all over la all the time so what was oh, yeah. china before communism 
Uh, <laughs> Isn't it like feudal feudalism? Uh, yeah, imperial China. Uh, but it, it's a want. lot more than that. Um, the the cult, uh, which <clears throat> is illegal in China, which is why it's mostly based in the United States, and um, is sort of a the Epoch Times is like their mouthpiece, essentially. And yeah, they're really fucking nuts. It's like Scientology. Wow. But it's like Chinese Scientology, basically. That's so interesting. Is the uh, local uh, performance related to that, Dan? You're talking about the ballet thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's run by... No yeah. fucking way. Yeah, that's a cult thing. Yeah, the main... Whoa! <laughs> so, if we go to a show, that's like, a, that's a cult show. Uh, in a sense, yeah. I mean, it also is just like a ballet mm -hmm. thing, oh. uh, but... Good yeah, call. when I saw the people that... behind it are a little nuts. Here, um, so here the Falun Gong, they're known for opposing Chinese Communist Party. Okay, Ethan, you probably get down with that. That'll get you kicked. Uh, out, espousing anti-evolutionary views, opposed to sex, uh, uh, homosexuality yes. and yes. feminism. Yes, uh, feminism? Reject rejection of modern medicine. Um, oh yeah, among other views described as ultra conservative. It sounds so. like they don't like anything. Yeah, hmm. nothing Finn, good. Which I uh, personally connect more. with. <laughs> so I actually, like so yeah, that last one about the um, <laughs> uh, rejection of modern medicine kind of uh, is exemplified by that ad that you. Well, saw. you know when so, I I did see that ballet, and the thing that really gave it away was that it starts when this uh, child gets a vaccine, and then it's the story <laughs> about this young <laughs> uh, this boy with autism, uh, just, and his special interest is dancing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're also, apparently, they've been big uh, supporters of, like, the QAnon stuff, uh, on anti-vaccination uh, so misinformation. They pretty, so there you go. They seem pretty in touch with American culture. <laughs> There's... At the Dolby, dude! Yeah, I know. We should Dolby. go! <laughs> so wait, this is, like, a real thing. Yeah, yeah. But then, is it culty, or is it just a cool show? Uh, I've never been. I, I don't know. Here, uh, watch the trailer. Actually, it might Don't claim me, bro. That looks sick, bro. Yeah, I want to go. They're like autism cause. <laughs> like, <laughs> they've been really them. low during like intermission or during scenes when you can't really hear vaccine cause autism. Yeah, it just looks like a look at that. These motherfuckers know how to put on a show. Goddamn! <laughs> I joined that cult. Hell Beautiful. yeah! Is this what it's like? Shit. <laughs> Good vibe. This is exactly Good what vibe. China was before uh, communism, actually. Yeah. Everyone was just it, mm -hmm. living in a musical, dancing. Pirouettes all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doing ballet through the air. Chasses. <laughs> well, okay. So, uh, shout sexual out to sex. Twitter, who's really become such a cesspool, I frankly... I'm, I'm sur it's even worse than I thought it could be at this moment. It, Mm -hmm. Do you do you guys spend time on on Twitter still? Yeah, and do you see what I'm talking about, or is it just my feed? Well, I do. I, well, <laughs> I don't see a lot of promoted stuff, Not but I just see like crazy, X. like Nazis posting weird ass shit, like X. Jewish conspiracies. Yeah, like, yeah, straight yeah. Up Specifically Nazi this week, where <laughs> the, all this stuff going on in New York. <laughs> yeah, the synagogue. Uh, yeah, the synagogue really stuff. Oh, the synagogue stuff is mad. Just yeah. so crazy. I oh, wait, the gone. tunnel thing. Yeah, yeah. that shit is. Really funny. I just saw it's not <laughs> funny. I well, just, well, it's like what aspect of that is not funny? It's not funny that people are with are getting like fifty thousand likes and millions of views. People saying that it's a child sex trafficking yeah. operation. Oh, I hadn't considered. Uh, That's what I'm. The seeing. blood libel it's not angle. Funny. Yeah. Okay, got it. It's. It, it's funny that a bunch of Yiddish speaking guys dug a tunnel because they that's wanted to go to it. I think that's specific. awesome. <laughs> that's so sick. They, they're like, fuck COVID. We're tunneling into the. <laughs> yeah. Most well, people it wasn't. I, I read something about they, they were like, they were expelled from their from their group, from their temple or whatever. And so, and they wanted to get back. Oh, and that's so, the story? Yeah, so they were sneaking into. I thought they were trying to break COVID. Oh. Uh, um, maybe I, maybe that, that was the story time. that I read, uh, mm -hmm. the other day. Sounds yeah. like one of the Twitter conspiracies. Right before we went live, I saw, uh, an edit that said Teenage Mutant Ninja Jews of them, of four guys crawling out of the, uh, out of the <laughs> sewer. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's not that funny. That's fine. I don't like the bloodline. <laughs> I mean, they were yeah. crawling out of the sewer. I saw the video too. Yeah. Just like the turtle. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The turtles did blood libel, I think. I yeah. found it actually. I sent it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so okay. Yeah, I mean this this is a this is a fair joke. Teenage mutant ninja Jews. <laughs> <laughs> this is an AI image for sure. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it.
That's cool. Four, four Orthodox Jews peeping out of a manhole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's objectively funny. That that sucks that people are turning it into that though. Well, why so, why are they going in the tunnels? Are they trying to? They're tunneling into the synagogue for yeah. one reason or another. It's some they were, were banished, they were banished from the synagogue. What I read is that COVID laws were they weren't allowing people to go to uh, places of worship, so they wanted to get in. But either way, they were just tunneling to get into the fucking synagogue, which is funny. Yeah. <laughs> if I had time over, I might do that too. You know, make some tunnels <laughs> under LA. That'd be just fun. Minecraft in real life. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, but most people are doing like bake heists and shit, and these guys are just like, <laughs> we just want to pray, bro. <laughs> Go! Yeah, tunnels are in lately. Have you guys noticed that? I, I know. Really in the the girl didn't the girl get shut down? I think she actually got in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, she did. She didn't have a permit. But yeah. she says she will continue anyway. Yeah, she says she's gonna continue. How do you nice. get a permit for that? There's no permit for that. She says as long as you stay under the actual house foundation, she can do it. She legally. can go as deep as she wants. That's what she says. But I don't you gotta know. you gotta make a deal with the teenage mutant uh, <laughs> ninja juice. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Zoning rights. I'm all for it though. Keep going, girl. Keep digging. Mm -hmm. Find that diamond. Yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> So shout out to the Jews and the and uh, the gypsies, Rose. Thank now you. what? I don't know. Oh, here. Okay. Thank you, Cam. This is not, this should give it away that it's a cult <laughs> thing. <laughs> like this is a this <laughs> this is a dead giveaway. Right. <laughs> what <the> fuck him? <laughs> so it's a really it, the show takes a really weird twist. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> is there anything to say about um Jake Doolittle? No. What more is there to say? He's ethered, dude. Well, fuck. <laughs> He's gone. You think he's done after that? <coughs> I mean, if he, he should listen to your advice. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> no, Ethan, that's not how that works. Uh, yeah, the thing is, like, again, I, I would feel bad for him if he didn't have so many opportunities to pull off the highway on this one. Oops. You know, he just, he just kept going head, head on, man. <laughs> But, you know, one thing I will say that I don't like seeing people do is uh, questioning, questioning the validity of his illness. That I would, I would appreciate not seeing, because that's what he did to me. And we sure. don't do that here on the H3 podcast. And it's just not, it's not pertinent, like, to it's anything. It's not. Yeah. I mean, I guess people think it's ironic. Because he, he claims he has chronic Lyme. I'm sure he, yeah, and I'm sure he does, yeah. I'm sure, yes, I 100% believe that he went through everything he said he did. Yeah. Chronic Lyme is an interesting phenomenon, though. Apparently, it's not recognized by the medical field as a real illness. Right. Uh, how, I mean, but, you know, I believe him. Well, from what I was reading, it seems like it was... It kind of seems like it's a catch-all that people use for when they can't get a clear diagnosis of something else. They know something's wrong, but yeah, apparently that's not an actual recognized uh, diagnosis. Which is yeah. So, but but anyway, um, just you know what I mean. Like Dan said, he got ethered. That's what Dan said. <laughs> and so let's just let's let just like Jake uh, be sick on his own. Yeah. Go, well, fuck. Go be sick. By yourself, please. <laughs> and it makes me fucking sick. If he if he made a heartfelt apology, I probably forgive him. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't hold a grudge. <laughs> well, sometimes you do. sometimes I do. <laughs> for this though, yeah, this is this is a this is a forgivable sin. For yeah. Sure. This this could be a learning moment for you, Jake. Keep you. Yeah. Pussies. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's what I want to say. Just, you know what I mean? Just leave the guy alone. You guys, I, I not, I, I haven't seen people harassing him. I'm, I haven't seen evidence of that, but I just see, but don't do that. But like, let's not, let's just not go there, please. Thank you. 
just leave Jake alone. Forever. <laughs> Which is what he'll be forever. Not true. He has a significant other who really, seems really nice. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, ba ba beep boop boo. Ba da 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 da. Beep. I was on the Jumbotron at Cincinnati. Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Bangles. Shout out to the We're family. Huge Bangles fans here. More of this. Especially stuff. Cam. <laughs> Do you hate. Oh, he's not here. I was about yeah, to ask him. You can't Somebody put himself. me in the chef hat <laughs> on the Jumbotron. How, it's so good. Yeah, that's fucking awesome, man. So, unfortunately. There was a there was a tiny short video clip of it too, but it was the very end because I think they saw it happening and tried to record it, but they only caught the last second. So so we know it's real. Yeah, I'm just wondering, did they use the audio of you talking about cook? Like, were they doing a let them cook like meme or something? Here's another one. So they use multiple shots. <laughs> didn't didn't this happen with uh, the jokes music? Like someone was playing it on the a Fields. Uh, oh, was oh, that? Yeah. Well, I forget if that was the Bengals or not. Was it the same Bengal guy? There's a dude, there's a there's, someone deep there's in a the fan organization. In the organization. Shout out Bengals. Fucking awesome. I'm a Bengals fan now all of a sudden. But anyway, I love this guys. Do keep doing this. Let's disrupt society. Show them that we're out here. We so live in a society. Shout out to my Bengal bro. Also there was another uh Bangle deep, bros. A deep plant, a sleeper cell at the WWE. Check this out. <laughs> This guy's holding up a picture of me doing the goofy face. Why you gotta be, why would you do the goofy face? You know what I mean? Why do you gotta show that picture? I wrestle the bear. Here is, here they are again. Oh, he's wearing Teddy Fresh too. I recognize the sweater. <laughs> Legend. Um, and here's, this is wrestling, by the way. Yeah, it For rules. Those of you who don't know. Fun. Um, it's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> here he is. I saw other ones. Yeah, there was one other, uh, there was one with like a sign, right? Was it a different yeah, person? So. Oh, here oh, it there is. You go. Someone with a dink doink. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Ah. This is a, oh, it's the same person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out dink doink. <laughs> keep holding, keep holding. Soon. Drop the crypto to pick up the dink doink. Right. Chest, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dink Donk is my favorite coin. I'm gonna face and do a dink on my chest. Yeah, yeah. Dink Donk is my favorite Dude, this man did two crypto scams. He did the Dink Donk and then people still bought his shit. <laughs> How does that happen? And people are still support him. This man went to, he looked his fans in the eyes and he says, fuck you, fuck you. And then people are like, cool, man. You're, my, you're the guy. Funny thing is, Logan wrestles in the WWE now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and a again, reminder. <laughs> he is very good at it, too. I'm not even going to hate on him. Oh, the Dink Tonk's right behind him. You yeah. Wow. Oh, oh, did he see it? Uh, yeah. I to say this. Probably I at some point. Hanging right there. You think he blames me for that? Because he got, apparent, allegedly, he was mad during the live show. Remember? Jeff said that he was pissed. Oh, really? Or Mike said he was pissed or something. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, I mean, of course he is. I'm getting at him. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, Logan, what color is the Dink Doink mascot? <laughs> Got him again. I really hate <laughs> to say this. I think there's someone hanging right there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we were trying to forget that moment, Zach. Uh, girl gets kicked out of whatever podcast. Ugh, these guys are the whatever has got to be the worst one of whatever, all. Whatever, dude. This guy has no. He has no personality. <laughs> it's he has like no charisma. Oil, he has no bro. insight. He's probably the least interesting person that, is alive. That your best effort. Mm -hmm. sure. And he has the same conversation every episode. The same. So, what, so what's your body count like? What's your so what and what's your body count? And what's your body count? What's your body count? And, and your, would you date? And how what? How rich do you think a guy should be to date to get married to him? And how how much money does a guy need mm -hmm. to have to get married? It's like every fucking episode. Why are we watching this shit? You know what? A detail I recently learned about him that made it all make sense is that I, I guess occasionally will come up on the show, but he is a massive World of Warcraft player. I know that him. Yeah, of course. 
course. Wait, how do you know and that? It, huh? How do you know that? Uh, apparently, I, I heard from somebody that has watched a decent amount of the show that he's a huge WoW nerd. Yeah, he's, wow. he's there's clips of him bragging about his like characters and stuff. <laughs> to Which, like, as soon as I heard that, no, I was what? like, "Listen, no offense, brother, but wow. no offense, brother, but if you're trying to be like the alpha male, yeah, you wow. can't sit." And I play a lot of video games. I love it, but priorities, like, yeah, you can be a hardcore wow. WoW gamer. <laughs> Or oh, wow. you can choose to have a romantic love. You can have a love life. Right. You can't have both. <laughs> oh, wow. I can confirm that. Yeah, I, yeah. I say that with peace <laughs> and love, of course. Because mm -hmm. wow. wow is not a part. If you want to be into wow, that's like a 16-hour per day part-time <laughs> job. Part -time job. Wow. Yes. <clears throat> you know. Well, what do we think about that? He's a wow player that hates women. A unicorn. I think Wowers probably just, you know, I didn't expect him to be like him. <laughs> I have relationships with women. Exactly. So you're bored. Make this conversation less boring. Sex Go ahead. So this girl, I think, came on with the intention of trolling him, and he gets really butthurt. Uh, I'm waiting. How often do you think about the Roman Empire, Brian? That is that your best effort? Sure. In any case, you're not it's honestly not a bad question. Mm. Like Brian, I would like the answer. <laughs> I would like to know, Brian. Frankly, it's a better question than the dumb shit you've been asking everybody. He's dodging because that, that number is high. I'm, let me tell you right now. That's in the that's in the high daily. Dozens. No, I think he he's <laughs> he's thinking about killing boars in the uh, the forest. That's what that could <laughs> sure. that could count. Yeah. That could because I think that. of like ancient civilization. Yeah. Kings on a boar hunt. Boar hunt, yeah. That's how how Robert Baratheon. Robert died. Baratheon, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly adding to the conversation, you've been disrespectful this entire time. You're entitled. You're Look how tilted you're getting, dummy. <laughs> rude. You have TikTok brain. You cannot stay focused. We've only been live for an hour and a half or so. That's a long time. I'm gonna ask you to leave. Okay. So get up. Get the fuck out. Damn, he dropped oh the hammer. Podcast, bitch, you she seemed really upset about cat. having to leave, too. Wait, hold on. L listen to what he says now. Okay. Out. On my dead ass podcast, bitch, you fucking do OnlyFans, you fucking degenerate. Bro, you your whole career is talking yeah. to OnlyFans, girl. Yeah. The like, they show. made you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dude, he can't even like commit to misogyny, it seems like. He's like looking down as she's there, like he's nervous, and then as she leaves, he calls her a fucking bitch. <laughs> God. He is such a loser. I wonder if we could get on a call. I'd like to debate him, my, the whatever guy. I you could probably go on his podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm not going on. <laughs> I'll, I'll we'll duel him in World of Warcraft. Let's reach out to whatever guy. Right. Whatever, man. I I'll wonder... buy him a rare mount or something. Yeah. <sighs> Sweeten the deal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Good. They're all gone. So you're bored. Make this conversation less boring. Go ahead. Bro, and so he clipped this and uploaded it to make him sound, look alpha. He and he's got ass. the alpha music. Uh, I'm waiting. Which is really bananas. How often do you think about the Roman Empire, Brian? Brian. Brian. <laughs> We're in your walls, Brian. Oh, I well, hold on. There was... <coughs> he posted this clip on his main account, the whatever one. How many, how many engagement did this get? 34 million? That's probably from her, right? Because her response went viral, but this had 12,000 likes. <clears throat> so she responded and said, this is hilarious because he's in my DMs every other week begging me often? to come back on his show. 150,000 likes. She continues, it's a shame because he's actually quite polite in person, but if it's going to be his entire shtick, then he's going to have some basic concern for his guests. A four-hour drive round trip simply wasn't worth the heinous threats I got in my inbox for months afterwards. Posting the sauce down for sunday he says april 18 it's may 7th he says i know it's super last minute but i got a super solid panel for tonight and we have one spot we can help arrange a ride that's the least you're asking to this panel will be viral <clears throat> if you want to make it uh feel better november hey interest in coming back on smiley face New time, 
Sunday, Tuesday, 4 p.m. Dude, you sent her these DMs and you still posted this? Like, how fucking embarrassing can you be? Yeah, he just posted this on December 23rd. Make this conversation. Knowing that he's been begging her all year to come back on the show. <laughs> Man. That's embarrassing. <laughs> well, I guess from his perspective, this is good content because he's like, he got to slam her and kick her out. I, his audience <clears throat> genuinely thinks that that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, that he looked cool in that clip. Well, what about the fact that he's been begging her to come on the show? That's not So they that can cool. kick her out again. That's good content for him. Right. Okay. I like the optimism. Uh, this crusty-ass host is on every OF girl's DMs. Bro, no shot. This is a uh, fan of the show, Little Liana. Of the podcast. Is she? Of our if, podcast. Should I not click her profile? Do not click her profile. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, but shout out, don't, but yeah. shout out though. Shout out to my friend. She, we love you. She had a funny response though, in the so, DMs. Okay, great. This crusty ass host is in every OF girl's DMs. Again, he literally was like, "You do OnlyFans, you whore." Right. And it, yeah, it's his entire shtick. Um, let's What's your see. body count like? <clears throat> Details. Blah blah blah. You can, blah, blah, blah. would you like to be on the show? If so, there's a Sunday or Tuesday coming up that works for you. Thank you, smiley face. Smiley face so beta, bro. You know what I mean? Don't do the smiley face. Have mm -hmm. some dignity. Beta. She said, I would rather drag my pussy through a field of cactuses than go on your <laughs> fringe punk cast with that insufferable host. <clears throat> True, bro. <laughs> True, true, true. So we'll mark you down for maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Let's reach out to Brian. I think we could, it's a good opportunity for him if it's just about content. Maybe just come, you can maybe find like, if you could just get one clip of owning me, mm. that'd be great <clears throat> for your social media. I think she was wearing a Teddy Fresh necklace in the original one, for real? The girl who he kicked out? Wait, what is this one? Oh, he's talking about huh, hardcore wild shit? Alright, let me check this. Trading. Oh, yeah, yeah. So like a... <laughs> Go on. I don't know if this is good. I was just sending examples of him talking about... No, I want to see... I want to hear him nerd out. Let's hear it, dude. A level, you know what? I don't know if it's that bad. But like I love it. I love a, it. A level sixty, right? Could then trade to like a level one. Like, I, you've seen you that are really connecting with the ladies video. on the panel here right now. <laughs> Where it's like, okay, here's a bunch of potions. Mm -hmm. Here's some enchanted it, gear. Here's like, uh, bro, you just said potion and enchanted gear on a dating website on a dating show. <laughs> you cannot use those those kind of language, sir. <laughs> no potion talk, Brian. <laughs> Do they plant to wear those flannels? Cute. They coordinate. I like the matchy matchy. Yeah. Cute. The fiery or whatever. Um, giving, like, basically fucking decking mm -hmm. out like a level one. I love that. You, you're in favor of that. Yeah, I mean, like, if I. If Bro, your show sucks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's his YouTube channel like? Does he get a lot of views? Yeah, see. I think these get a lot of views. Check I, it out. I I'm hate curious. to say it, but I think it does pretty well. <clears throat> Um, they also like I, I I hate to say this too, but people think that our shows are long. This guy is the king. I heard he does like eight hours. Shows. Every single <laughs> one is like a nine hour like, marathon how, stream. It's how fucking is there stupid. that much to talk about? There's not. They talk about the same. It's not an exaggeration. They just talk like, what's your body count? Uh, do you think you know is is DMing on Instagram cheating? It's just like the same rote questions with. 10 OnlyFans girls over and over By the way, this does look again. like a potential... I know we made a clasp that looked like this. I think it might be Teddy Fresh. You think so? Shh, legend. Legend. Could be. If that's the necklace I think it is, it's one of my faves. Yes. I wear it all the time. Awesome. Oh, good. <clears throat> what is his views like? Uh, really, half a million views uh, three weeks ago. That's too much. He's yeah. more popular than Fresh and Fit, sounds like. Yeah, four million subs. Because he, this guy is an old school. He used to do pranks. I remember I used to. Right. If you go on his channel, all his prank videos are still on there on the whatever podcast channel. 
I used to look to him for like content to react to. That's why I remember the whatever. Mm. And he just made this crazy pivot to being a misogynistic weirdo. Not that crazy of a pivot, I guess. <laughs> whatever. Seeing, seeing as every <laughs> single one of those prankster guys did the exact same pivot. Whatever you... Man. Wait. Okay. I thought he had this Congress guy. Or he, this guy got kicked out of Congress, actually. Loser. Anyway. <clears throat> shout out. I guess we'll do our ads. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then we have... Uh, a caller that should be uh, calling in oh, fairly soon here. Big who I, Fid. I don't think you've mentioned in. this yet. Fidious, you guys. The Fidious. Margot Robbie. Mar Bro, I want to fuck, I want to fuck, fuck this bitch. bitch. I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm looking forward to talking to him. I think we'll have a really fruitful conversation. I agree. He, oh, he, yeah. I'm very excited. He is... Among many things, definitely a conversationalist. Conversationalist, a thinker. Nobody. Yeah, true. So anyway, thank you to ExpressVPN, who we love them. We love them. <coughs> why do we love them? Let me tell you why. Going online without ExpressVPN is like changing while leaving your window wide open. You might not have anything to hide, but why give random creeps a chance to invade your privacy? I saw a TikTok <coughs> dude in Bakersfield. He went into the convenience store with his window down, and he had his lunch in the seat. He comes back to his car. Someone just took one bite out of his burrito and put it back. Man, That's bro. you. That's Gross. you with without ExpressVPN. That's right. Nobody's taking a bite of my burrito, boy. That's your burrito. <laughs> when you go online without a VPN, your ISP can see every single website you visit. They can legally sell this information without your consent to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you. So why should you use ExpressVPN? You can browse anonymously. When you use ExpressVPN, ISPs can not see your online activity. Your identity is anonymized by a secure VPN server and your data is also encrypted for maximum protection. It's easy to use. Fire it up. Click one button on the app. And Bob is your uncle, as they say, in the business. And it works on all devices, phones, laptops, even routers, so that everybody connected to your Wi-Fi is protected. Um, <clears throat> VPNs, are, they're so useful for so many different reasons. You seem like a VPN guy, I love. Yeah, I'll use a VPN for, like, um, Netflix. Netflix? Yeah, that's yeah. my go-to. Well, because in Sweden, you probably need it for something. In like Sweden, I VPN to America, and now the opposite. <laughs> Right. Yeah, VPN back to Sweden oh. to see my Swedish shows sometimes. Oh. Yeah. There's some stuff that's not here. Also, with the like, Swedish uh, government uh, online TV, like uh, the main websites, you can't access them from outside the Sweden because they're. Really? Same, same with UK. You can't access the UK kind of government. Why do they care? I don't know why. I don't know why they do that, but hmm. I need a VPN to access them. So there you go. There's so many great reasons to use a, um, a VPN, it's a great service. For, for everybody. Secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash h3 today. That's expressvpn.com slash h3. And you can, you'll get an extra three months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash h3. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> AB, do you try, how was the, um, the lamb? That was really good. Sincerely, it was really good. Um, our marketing guy at Teddy Fresh, Waleed, great guy. Some of you might know him. Um, he has a halal cart mm -hmm. that he made, and we had him bring out and do a catering thing for everybody. And oh god, that shit was crazy. That was crazy. The beef wrap was that about so good. Oh yeah, love went back for seconds. Eh? I sure you, did. You didn't try the lamb though. No, I, I went crazy on the beef. It was just so good. Show the front of the shirt, uh, AB. I think this is a different one. Oh, you didn't get that one. Yeah. It says, I went to Waleed's halal cart and all I got was food poisoning or something. Yeah, yeah that's what it says. <laughs> Definitely hygienic back there, though. I looked. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it did look very good. Yeah. I'm going to give it 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you. That was great. That was really good. <laughs>
Uh, gamer sub. You know what I washed it down with? A nice, cool... That's right, boy. A gamer sub. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rise up right now. Woo! <clears throat> There's about a million and one reasons to drink gamer sub. One is that it tastes great. Start there. Two That's all you need. is that it's hydrating. It's got minerals, electrolytes, and even caffeine. So it's a nice pick-me-up if you don't want to drink coffee, tea, or any of those boring-ass lame drinks. You can get it through your gamer supply, also known, abbreviated as Gamer Sub. Also, if you're hooked on sugary drinks and you're trying to lose weight, you know, frankly, this is a really good substitute. Those sugary drinks, man, they'll get you. If you're having like two Cokes a day even, I mean, you're pushing like probably close to 400 calories. Yeah, it goes goes fast. So and if you're even if you're eating like your daily amount of calories, let's say 2,000, 400 on top, by the end of the year, you're gonna have gained like a significant amount of weight. Not with gamer sub though. Uh, we also have our own flavor. You guys might know Sigma Brain spicy margarita. It is so 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 good. It's not, and if you don't like spicy food, I make this pledge and promise you will still like this flavor. It's just a little tingle. It's a little fairy dust on your tongue. Nothing more. Yeah. They don't use sugar and it tastes great. It's, uh, it's super affordable too. It ends up being like, I forget what it was, but it's like cents per yeah. scoop. Yep. Per bev, you know? Yeah. It's a great uh, gateway to healthier lifestyle. You know, it's a great start to the new year. Get all the benefits of drinking it. There's a caffeine-free version as well if uh, you just want a great tasting beverage with all the other benefits of drinking it. Guys, go to gamersups.gg and use the code H3 to get 10% off your order. And try Sigma Brain, our exclusive flavor, only at gamersups.gg. Thank you so much for the sponsors. Please consider supporting them. We love them. We do. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Um, so it's big. Yeah, go ahead. Before we get into the heavy stuff, there's actually Wally just stopped by to drop off. If you want to bring him here, Wally, you can. here, come sit next to me. Do you have more? Yeah, he has some more. He brought. I was just talking about you. Okay, so you can try. Oh fuck! Love. Yo. Oh, it's like. This sauce is insane, bro. I'm not selling it. It's just for you. Just made one. Oh, this is for sale? Not yet. Sit, sit at the chair next to him. Love, now you're going to grab one Jack? of these. Yeah, sure. Yeah, pull, that, pull that mic over. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a coward, bro. You didn't eat the lamb. Wait, who wants a piece of lamb? Who wants to try this right now? I'd love to. It's not gamey. It's not like... No. Scary. It's good. real It's real food. It's real so meat. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you. How was it? It was great. It was actually fairly easy. Thank you so much. I was stressed much. in the morning. I marinated all this last night. Made the rice at four. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Dude, mm -hmm. you crushed it. I'm glad. Come grab, come, come, come. It was bomb. So Waleed's food truck. Can I grab one of those too? Yes, please. Anyone who wants to please. try Please. In fact, okay. <laughs> I didn't say take the whole thing. Yeah, oh, you're, yeah. One for Zach, one for me. Walu? I already had I had I had yours already, actually. <laughs> I just I like every single one. Who else? I'll take, I'll take, I had it earlier. It was delicious. I'll take another though. Oh, thank Who you. said that? Right <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the best lamb I've ever had. All right. Well, what do you say to people who say, I want some of that wild eat? Oh, I say, too bad, too sad. <laughs> Won't not, come available. not available, not yet. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a real pop up soon. A first IRL one, one of these days. Dude, this that is that good because it's good practice. And obviously, you won't lie to me if it's good, you know. You'll just tell me straight up, I feel like. What I would say if I didn't like it is I would say it was good. Oh, what? <laughs> but what I wouldn't say mm -hmm. is this is the best lamb I've ever had. Wow. This is right. really Which is what I say Holy today. shit. It's, he's, it's always, he's always exaggerating like three tears, so you can always I'm back not. it up. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, I'm being totally truthful. It's on camera. Like, I, I wouldn't it, yeah. glaze you up like this if I didn't like it. <laughs> Dick right? Yeah. It's super tender. It's really good. Love, go ahead. That shit is busted. It's so good. Already I, down. I, you don't scared. like lamb, right? You don't like I, exactly. I'm scared that it's going to be too gamey or gamey. What's mm -hmm. called? Mm -hmm. But this is bordering to. It tastes like beef. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Good fat. Thank God. Oh, so wait, it's delish. what is this cut? It it's a uh, French lamb chop, and then it comes in a rack, so you have to cut each individual piece. The perfect size. Mm-hmm. Eat. You put. You dip it if you want to put the sauce on it. Oh my God, dude. Have you always been like a chef interested in cooking? And stuff? Yeah, I used, my dad used to own a kebab restaurant. Oh, for real? So my dad used to start restaurants and they would all just fail. Oh no. <laughs> they all just bomb. And then I would work in the kitchen with like hardcore chefs from the Middle East and then... You'd pick some stuff up. Yeah, i picked some stuff up. I got in trouble a ton because I'd westernize. I'd be like, oh, can I put this on it? Oh, for real? Yeah, they they, just, beat, they just beat your ass. You know? Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> you have some good kebab recipes from your I, pops? Yep, I have. I stole everything. <laughs> the sauce, stole that. Really? Sorry, pop. See you later, bozo. <laughs> oh, my God. So hopefully when I do the first IRL, I'll pop up soon. I'll plug it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I want people to try this. I support you. You guys all get sick after. You guys are all <laughs> yakking. <laughs> well, the shirt that you gave me does guarantee food poisoning. Oh yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, I can. That is the freshest, most delicious meat. You can it's eat. crazy. I'm gonna eat every single piece of meat on this. I bone. told you, love. Yeah. I should have listened. You know your way around some meat. Thanks, bro. Of course. Enjoy. Enjoy. Awesome. Enjoy. If you guys want more, there's more food. Anytime. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Enjoy. Such a pleasure. Such a treasure. A pleasure and a treasure. That's Walid, everybody. A great guy. Big guy. Damn. That's oh, crazy. Oof, that is so good. So which is better now that you've had both? Mm -hmm. I mean, just because I have to like think about this when you I don't eat like it. The eating? A little bit of downside, but I think this is better. This is more flavorful. The other one is easier to Okay, you like the, the, e the ease of access. Yeah, I like to just be able to eat as oh, much thanks, as sweetie. possible as quick as possible. Oh. Uh, see, I kind of like the the caveman aspect, and especially it's sure. not that bad because there's other yep. handheld foods that are like a total nightmare to eat. For example, like a turkey leg, like that yeah. is always goes so <laughs> sideways. Yeah, but that one you got a nice clean handle. It's good. That thing. That's a ten. That's Gosh. a ten. There it is. Walid's gourmet, fresh and authentic, zesty Middle Eastern sauce. Secret family <laughs> recipe. Quality is our number one priority. It's awesome. So, so um, Big Fid on the line? Big Fid is ready to go. So here's what he's I want to do. The, he's in the waiting room. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. I'm going to run there and back. Okay. <laughs> you will basically won't even realize that I was gone. And Modern when we come back, we're going to have some really deep conversations with uh, Phidias. Fantastic. Can't wait. <clears throat> You're not running. You're not running, dude. You are slow walking. I slowed shit. him down. Bro, what the hell? I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> uh, somebody said, as a WoW player, we aren't all bad. Love women and have a beautiful history loving girlfriend. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. I played some WoW a couple months ago with that new that new thing that they did. Hell yeah. The new old thing. The um, season of... Season of Discovery. Discovery, right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm right there with you, buddy. I'm right there with you, buddy. Hope you guys had a good break. We did. Well, I did. I can't speak for everybody. Ian was sick for like the whole thing, apparently. So he probably has a different answer. Although, Ian, you were telling me you were playing Alan Wake while like in a fever, feverish state, right? How was that? Yeah, I had a, I had some nightmares. It was, <laughs> it was a weird time. Like actually, <laughs> like it was blending the the gameplay and your your dreams yeah, together. Yeah, so ill, and it was like raining, and I had the blinds closed. <laughs> it made me like very uncomfortable. <laughs> Why? Sounds sounds really relaxing. I'm glad you I'm glad you had time I to not, relax, I buddy. I played it in like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't finish it? No. Yeah, bummer. That is such an Ian game. For those that don't know, Ian, Ian likes the weird games where. You walk slowly, and uh, mostly like that. He always says that. He likes walking simulators. You put a character <laughs> in the woods, I'll like the game. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm the exact opposite. I need fucking juice yeah. in my brain constantly. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> Did you guys play that new Spider-Man? I mean, it's been out for a little bit, but... Uh, no, I watched my buddy uh, 
stream it a little bit, and it looked pretty cool. But, yeah, uh, I haven't, I haven't tried it out. I started it. It's, it is really cool. I didn't play the other ones, but I liked it. Yeah, I mean the swinging around the city and everything looks like it would be pretty entertaining. Uh, I have a baby over the break, and now she's listening with me. Oh, congratulations, Lexi! Oh my God! Congratulations! Oh my God! Just now that she's listening with you, like that's the that's cutest thing I've cute. ever heard. That's very cute. Uh, just got out of the hospital with internal bleeding. Oh no! Needed you guys last week, dude. What? 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 Oh, first of all, I'm sorry that uh, you're in the hospital. There's several things about this message that that I'm curious about. So I just got out of the hospital with internal bleeding. That implies that you gained. Mm. the internal bleeding status in the hospital, in which case you should probably turn around and go back. All right, chill out, Dan. What do you, Jake, do a little? Doctors. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying. And then <laughs> and then needed you guys last week, dude. It, it sounds like it's our fault. <laughs> our <laughs> our <laughs> fault. Yeah. That he's bleeding internally. Uh, so I, I am sorry that's happening, though. No, um, I'll take responsibility. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Someone is literally bleeding inside Your right fault. now because of us. Your fault. Wait, what did we do? It's unclear. We didn't help. What did the message? We didn't say? help. We weren't. We weren't here. The message was, just got out of the hospital with internal bleeding. Needed you guys last week, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. You should have told us sooner. Your fault. Would have come back for you. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anybody with internal bleeding, next time during break. Let us know. Yeah, send a send an email or something. Make so at a least we're if aware. You guys can group up, unionize or something. Yeah. Julia Frost, thank you for the fifty gifted. Wow. Yo, so nice. so Julia. <clears throat> All right. All right. This uh this poor guy, he's sitting in our waiting room. We gotta we gotta let him in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Phidias is coming in. One moment. Oh, I'm so excited. Holy <laughs> shit. <clears throat> Big fit. Okay, and oh, no. it's just like the shot. Are we connected to audio? Wait, Not is that quite real yet. Or is that the shot? Okay, now we should be connected on audio. Hello. Can you hear me? Hey, Fid. Can you hear me, Big Fid? Can. Can you hear I me? I cannot hear you. No. I see. <laughs> I see. Uh, what? Yeah, we're. Can you hear me? We yeah. can hear you fine, yes. Oh, fuck. And I cannot hear you only. So let me, let me see. This like, is good. This is just what I wanted. This is perfect. Um, yeah, we are. I, I see the levels One bouncing second. on our uh, output. So How is now? Can you hear me still? Yeah. We can yeah. hear you, buddy. We can hear you. Can you still not I'm hear us? I'm supposed to hear you from the live <laughs> or I'm supposed to hear you from no. my Zoom. headphones? Zoom. I don't know how to communicate that. The point please. to the headphone. Yeah. Oh, I apologize. I, you found out, guys, that I'm stupid in real life as well. <laughs> no, 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 no. Can you hear me now? No. No, I cannot. Oh, oh, wait. So the why did you answer me perfectly? <laughs> are, are, you, are, are you sure? <laughs> oh, wait. Phidias. Fid. Do you want me to get you like a, a chalkboard? Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm messaging him in the... The chat too. Big uh, Fid, Phidias. <laughs> I mean, this is a good first appearance. We could probably wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check back in next week. Yeah. Nomenclature? Oh, we don't love it. S self awareness. So, yeah, exactly. We love the self awareness. Yeah. <laughs> Phidias, <laughs> how are you? I'm very good. I'm very excited, guys. I've been laughing so hard when you guys are making fun of me. I'm enjoying it so much. So, I'm, I'm here for another ride. In real life, it would be so much fun. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. You're, that's a sweet, that's really sweet. <laughs> But so you've seen kind of our reaction to like your Japanese video, and we also reacted to your Skid Row video. I'm curious about: Do you think anything went wrong in those videos, or do you think it's just that's kind of what you you planned for it? For example, like the Japan one. 
Well, the Japan one is very interesting. First of all, I did this since the start of my YouTube channel. I was sneaking inside but buses and trains and i was traveling across every country for free i traveled to united states for free to but india not for free UK, right for free uh, How, yeah in what way is it free well i was sneaking in right because yeah. free implies <laughs> that it's like uh was given to you for you know okay yes uh, yes, so, so, so I was doing illegal activity. You are okay, right. Good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I was doing these uh, videos, uh, and I built my channel out of these uh, traveling for free videos. I did this in Europe. I did this everywhere. And when I went to Japan, it was uh, the first time that people got mad at it. Uh, so. Uh, and the other videos had like 5 million views, 4 million views, 3 million views. A lot of people were watching them. But yeah, I think generally there is something wrong with this uh, format of traveling for free. Uh, because I, it started with good intentions. I don't have bad intentions. I sure. wanted to show the kindness of people and stuff. But uh, when you become, let's say, a bit successful on YouTube and you are doing for free, it's like you are taking advantage of the situation and making money on this stuff. So maybe, I don't know, I can do that again, but maybe uh, get a job there and make money and go to the next place in a way. So uh, do you ever but, consider doing one traveling at the fair uh, market rate from here to here? What, what like, is that? I'll, I'm going to do Please. a whole trip from Paris to Moscow at the fair price rate of travel. Uh, what uh, what like fair you pay price for? Like traveling. you pay for all the tickets and stuff, and then you're. But that's but you, not fun. That's oh, boring. Okay, okay all right. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. So what's the deal? You think that what's the deal with the Japanese? Why do you think they care so much? Well, first of all, I love them. Uh, I love everybody in this world, and all this stuff. Uh, uh, I do them out of, I don't know, because I think it would be a good video and do some good with the video. Never my intentions are to do bad uh, stuff. But when you are doing this mindset of getting views and chasing the views and all this stuff, you are, uh, you are going to make a lot of mistakes, I think. So I need to, buy, by the way, I want to admit to everyone that I am a Mr. Beast copycat. <laughs> so I am self-aware of that, that you guys are... Uh, I don't think we care about fun. that. We're not that we're not that protective of beast. What do you mean? I'm I'm saying like I don't think our fans care that you're copying Mr. Beast's content. I know probably a lot of people say that to you. We're not one of them. I say go for, well, I say steal more from him. N well, uh this, uh, when I introduce myself what what type <laughs> of videos I am making the first thing I'm saying, I'm a Mr. Beast Kobe cut. So I, I'm taking this uh, format and it's working, it's getting a lot of views, and I'm trying to adjust how to get more views and make a better business and make uh, better videos. So, uh, for example, the attend when I went to Skid Row that you said. Uh, That's my city, that too. Was, you were right there, man. Yes. It's crazy. You were so close to me. I was living in Los Angeles for two years. So when oh. I was doing videos with Eric, uh, so uh, oh, I yes, hate that I went... fucking guy. Is he still your friend, or did he get too big time for you? <laughs> uh, no, he's not still my friend, but he helped me a lot in the. Wait, wait, wait! Fact, what I... happened with him? Because he, you know what? This guy went on stage and he called me ugly, and I and I am so pissed off about that. Yeah. Well, so what happened between you and model, this coward, um, Eric? <laughs> Do you think you are the most beautiful person in the world? You are not ugly. But by the way, Phidias, uh, Phidias, uh, <laughs> that's not this. Are, are you defending Iraq? No, I'm not defending Iraq. But by the way, one time you were making fun of me in the podcast, and I said in my podcast that that I, I am ugly, and you said, "No, he's not that ugly. He's just a bit uh, uh, aggressive and stupid, something like that." So you said that I'm, I'm not that ugly. So. You defended that I'm not ugly. So wait, is that good or bad that I said you're not that ugly? Well, it's not good, not bad. Nothing <clears throat> okay. is good or bad. It's yeah. how you perceive it. Well, you said I'm ugly, and I said you're not that ugly. 
So it's well, kind I of like say, I'm upgrading you. Said, hey, Arak. Hey, Arak said you are actually. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what happened? Why are you guys friends? So um, <coughs> uh, there, uh, when he ha- I, I I went with him when he had one million subscribers. I did some videos to get his attention. And then he liked my personality and put me in more and more videos. But uh, at some point, I got uh, I was working for free for him for one uh, year, and he was putting me in videos. I was getting exposure on my YouTube channel. I was learning a lot. And at one time, when I had like five thousand, five hundred thousand subscribers, I was like, I don't like, it. I don't want to have a commitment uh, to be in his channel all the time. So I told him that I want to be in, not in all the videos, I want to travel, I want to go back to my country, to Europe for a couple of months, I don't want to have a commitment. But, and he understand a lot. So he said that uh, I want a person that will be here for the long term, if I'm going to build him as a character and all this stuff. So we kind of separated the way, but it was uh, a bit transactional. It was not like we were friends. Uh, okay. But then they're on good terms. Nobody hates anybody. So yeah. I, I love him. And if he was not him, I was not going to be a YouTuber now. So thanks to him. All but right. you hate him. He did him, call me say. ugly. Why, for the right. why do you hate him? Dude, he called me ugly on a stage. Oh, I'm being told that's his actual, that's his actual face. I'm so sorry, Ethan. That's what he said about me. He <laughs> said, I'm so sorry. That's his actual face. That's fucked up, don't you think? Uh, well, I thought it was pretty funny. I didn't ask you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask, let me, I want to dig deep in some stuff because you seem like a deep so, thinker. Uh, by the way, I love that you guys are a bit conflicted about me if I'm completely stupid or if I'm <laughs> deep thinker and you guys <laughs> kind of like me and you kind of get me at the same time. I really love this. So I, I'm very excited uh, to kind of settle everything here. Well, let's see. We can determine now. <laughs> Um, let's see here. What is, what is God? What is God? Um, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure uh, what is life. Like, I'm not sure if I am, if uh, everything that we see uh, around us is real. Because I spoke with some scientists in the podcast that they said that scientifically, is not sure, uh, no, is, is proven that we cannot see a hundred percent of the reality. We see kind wow. of distorted the reality. Wow. So you never know what's the actual reality. Wow. So I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. And I, I am very stupid to understand that uh, I'm, I, I'm smart enough to understand that I don't know a lot of things about that. I'm just interested in this topic. Wow. And this is. Uh, uh, kind of my answer. I don't know, but my father is a priest in Christian religion, oh. Christian Orthodox religion. So I grew up uh, in church and stuff, and I still feel the connection to God in a way, but I'm not sure if that's uh, higher power, if that's uh, the universe, if that's <laughs> earth. I'm not sure what it is. What are your thoughts on the technological singularity? When is, do you think that's going to happen, and what's the impact you believe it will have on humanity? Well, uh, first of all, uh, singularity, and I will want to make sure that uh, you, we mean the same um, uh, term, we mean the same thing. By the way, forgive me for my English, guys. I, not only I'm stupid, I have bad English, and this combination makes a lot of mistakes. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> so uh, uh, singularity is something that you don't know uh, what will happen after that? Like, for example, we can predict five, ten years in the future, but uh, the singularity is like something that is uncertain what will happen after. Uh, so, uh, if we uh, if we advance uh, so rapidly that we are advancing and we have a snowball effect, the advancement maybe until twenty forty. I don't know. Uh, but we, by singularity, we mean the world would be so different that we cannot even I- imagine. Wow. So uh, probably in 20 years. Wow. 
I, I'm curious to understand, like, what are these topics you are trying to test the waters or how, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I just, I know you as a great thinker, so I'm just trying to pick your brain. What are your thoughts on Mar Margot Robbie? <laughs> what do you think about Margot Robbie? Uh, I think she's the one of the most beautiful women. Really? Uh, what would you world. do to her? <laughs> uh, I say it. I, I was I would say one one time I masturbated on her. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> 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 And what was happening in your fantasy? <laughs> <laughs> Just one time? I think you are asking for too much there. Yeah, I okay. want to be as honest <laughs> as, not, uh, as not like uh, saying something, slutty things that are not appropriate. Yeah, she is, she is beautiful. <laughs> she is amazing. As yeah. a Barbie, as everything. Every character yeah. that she plays, she's... Uh, right. So just one time? I think just one time. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm honest. I'm the most honest person in the world. You can ask me, I'll be so honest with you. Anything. I never said lie, I think. You've never lied? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's Phidias, everybody. Nice to connect. You seem like a really nice guy, honestly. Genuine nice guy. We love that. What happened with you and your girlfriend? It's, she seems so nice. I, have you considered getting back with her? Which one? The I ex. The one you did the podcast the, with. Oh, the post. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, she found another person now. She's with another person. Oh, so shit. I, you do, missed I didn't consider the, uh, to get back with her because... Uh, I, I, we broke up for a reason, so the, uh, I don't want to go back to here. Oh, understood. What are your thoughts on Gypsy Rose? One last question. What, who, what is Gypsy Rose? <clears throat> she's the, she's the girl that like killed her mom or something. She killed her mom. Well, I, I, if I don't know something, I try to stay smart. Uh, out. Smart. <laughs> I said something smart. You story. You. <laughs> <laughs> Dab on that bitch. All right, that's Phidias, everybody. We look forward to your uh, future content. But, uh, it will be. It's. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I. Sometimes I, I like what you are doing, guys. Kind of criticizing people and all this stuff, but. Just make sure you don't get to, uh, to the other line that you, you f just criticize to, to just make money and like don't care about the other people. So right. uh, because th that's the, my problem with all this uh, industry that you are doing. But for example, I think with me, you didn't cross the line. You were just cutting nice. out. You were playful. That's uh, nice. You were so good job on roasting here, me here, here's in one. the most cool way possible. Here's one for you, brother. Bro! Oh. Gentlemen, How dab. was that? Did it look good? It was beautiful. Yeah, very good. You know what? Crazy. <laughs> Teddy natural. started dabbing. Oh, no. Wow. Shut up, shut up, shut and up. And he does it perfectly. <laughs> oh, shit. He's, like, so good at it. He, like... <laughs> and he learned it. He watched these guys on YouTube. He's way too young. I, I watch it with him. It's fine. But like, you know these guys, Lanky Box? You know them, Big Fid? So they make kids content. And he, he fucking loves them. And now my one-year-old is watching these guys. He's almost two, to be fair. And they love these Lanky Box characters. And so they taught him how to dab. Yeah, here they are. And I'm learning, actually, it's kind of interesting. I'm learning all these games that, like, are popular, you know? There's this whole world of, of like, gaming for kids, and it's a huge market. Like, uh, have you guys heard of um, Ban Ban's Garden? 
this is like a this <laughs> no. is like a phenomenally <laughs> successful game. You know? Ban Ban's Garden. Check that out. <sighs> All right. All right, Fid, thank you so much, brother. Woo! My pleasure, guys. I love you. I love everybody that is watching. All right. If Happy you need if, if you need money for any trans if you need like a train ticket or something, I'll I'll help you out, okay? <laughs> or a breakfast, whatever you need. Are you sure? <laughs> you wanna hang around? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> He could be, yeah, you could be, you know, you probably have some good commentary. We were gonna, actually, you want to learn about Gypsy Rose with us? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Did you feel bad about stealing the sleeping bag from the homeless person? Uh, yes, but I was so fucking cold that I didn't, <laughs> I didn't care. But wouldn't and they, I knew that, but I did, knew wouldn't that, they need it if it's so cold? Did no, you dab on them? Need, they didn't need it because it was there and I was next to it and I was watching when I was there. So, so it was like 3 a.m. in the morning. Who needs a sleeping bag at 3 a.m. in the morning? So I just took it for two hours. But yes, I agree. That was... A, uh, Dude, you're fearless, was not man. the best. That is, you're, 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 you're fearless, you know that? Like you, you do stuff that ordinary people wouldn't do. Uh, yes. What is I that? Agree. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I've been I've been in the Navy SEALs uh, when I was uh, in my country. I finished Navy SEAL school. So after that uh, experience, you kind of become fearless. I guess. You're special ops. Because, yeah, because when you drown you in the cold and all this stuff, there's nothing. Uh, nothing can scare you in life. Wow, Phineas is special fun. ops. Wow. Now he's stealing complimentary breakfast. So, so, and when you're on Skid Row, you're not afraid for <laughs> and, your. And and that's why I'm so good in stealing stuff and getting <laughs> away with it. Yeah, not in Japan, actually. <laughs> no, I got away with it in Japan. But, not really. Uh, oh no, I got away with it in real life, but after everyone was mad at me, so I got. But you didn't you get you got pulled into the police station at one point? Oh yeah, that's. That's true, because I was short uh, for 50 cents uh, when I collected money for the bus. Right. So that's true. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you're not afraid of homeless people then? Like, you take the sleeping bag, you take what you want, and you, you're trained. Come on. And they're probably... You ma they probably so bad. I, I agree no, with you. No, I agree yeah, with you. Yeah, you agree. <laughs> and then the thing is, homeless people are probably, they're emaciated, they don't eat enough. So you probably you would you probably fuck them up if it, it came down to it. No, Could you defend against no. a knife attack? Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. Really? Yeah, I I love the homeless people. I was like I, when I was when I was uh, I was living in Hollywood and I was walking around speaking with them. I I I. I I don't have any problem. I see them as regular people. And uh, to be honest, I, I would say something very uh, probably radical, but isn't it? Uh, this is very crazy, okay? It's a crazy idea. But isn't it? Uh, a, by the way, it comes down to you guys remember when you were making fun of me? Uh, 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 you see it here in real life. So, uh, sorry, so, what? <laughs> he was saying we made fun of his stutter in the past. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. If I did, that's not cool. No, it's cool because it's funny. Uh, so isn't it racist to see like uh, a person uh, paraplegic and treat him different than other people because he's paraplegic? I think treating everyone the same right. uh, is the for example. Is the thing. For example, so let's say, let's for say example, if I was going to steal a sleeping bag from a normal person, yeah. I'm going to steal for a homeless. Let's say uh, this is a crazy idea. Treat them equal. <laughs> what about a Treat paraplegic? Them equally. Would you steal a sleeping well, bag from a paraplegic? <laughs> yeah. So you would steal a sleeping bag from a paraplegic. 
No, it was wrong. I made a mistake and I apologize. Right. No, I like where your logic is. But treat everybody the same, no matter if they're paraplegic or if they have limbs. That's amazing. I love it. That's awesome. Um, let me ask you this before you go. What's your most controversial opinion? Oh, bro, you love controversy. You want to expose me the, the fuck out of me. No, it's something you're comfortable <laughs> with, but I, you, you're, a, you're an unusual thinker. I'm curious. What's your most out there, you know, opinion about something? Um, I feel democracy is, is, is bad. Democracy is bad. That is it. That is a take. So what's what? Because, go ahead. What's, because yeah, uh, like every four years we get to vote. We don't get. We just uh, elect out of three candidates that have from parties and all this stuff. So it's like a joke. Like nobody, you nobody in his straight mind. I believe will think that what we have here as democracy is the actual good system that will help the world. So imagine if after 50 years, they would look back, I think, like we look back that people have horses and democracy will evolve, will become more, I don't know, for us to vote with our phones, to, for us to, for uh, I don't know, more, more vote more often, have more saying. So you because like democracy? I, I, I don't like democ. I hate democracy as it is. So I just you if don't it like changed, it. Yeah, you don't like it as it is. But if we could vote on our phones, that'd be dope. Yes, vote on yeah. our phones, yeah. put opinions, and maybe they pass. Have an active uh, role in democracy. More active. I'm role. not sure how, how, if that's what democracy is. That's probably something different. How do you feel about the um, the uh, democratization of the workplace? Well, that was too many words. How, how do you feel about um, <laughs> uh, about turning the workplace into a um, into a situation where everybody votes equally on the outcome? Well, I, I think that's uh, that's interesting, but a lot of the times, the you have lack of knowledge to make a decision. Uh. So that's probably a CEO will have so much information right. about the current uh, state of There you the, go. That Aphidius is, is a, he is arguing in favor of capitalism. Well done. This was said very well. Based. CEOs are the I, fucking people that need to be making the decisions and I agree, brother. Do you disagree or No, I agree or with you. I'm a stra I'm I'm okay. with you all the way. I don't Okay. I don't fucking Fuck you go. <laughs> where... yeah. All right. Dab on employees. <laughs> that was an aggressive dab, brother. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. You ever hurt yourself dabbing? Uh, no, I hurt myself doing a video running a half marathon barefoot on the snow. That's not uh, what I asked. That's not even close to what I asked. <laughs> okay, but you got an answer, though. All right. It's a fair way to put it, I guess. <laughs> so you've been hurt before, basically. That's You turned but it into that. But now you care. You, no, I... <laughs> well, you, you turned it, you turned, have you ever hurt yourself dabbing into, have you ever been hurt? No, not really. You've never been hurt. Okay. Dabbing. <clears throat> All right. Well, there it is. Phidias, he does not like democracy as it is. Do you think that voting on our phones pr would pose any kind of security issue? Well, uh, now we've got, with so advanced cybersecurity and cryptocurrencies and all right. stuff. There's no it, hacking. Yeah, I, I think I think there is hacking, but probably we're go you are going to come up with a, a better, uh, like for example, or voting, <laughs> voting on Twitter. I don't know something that is uh, legitimized. Uh, legitimized. I don't know. I'm just proposing the ideas. I'm not so here. Pre to that's kind of fire. Them. Presidential election on Twitter. That would be nuts. That would actually be so freaking nuts. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. But I don't think China's hacking us or anything like that. I don't think they'd have access to anything. <laughs> well, fair enough. Yeah. I've, uh... <laughs> All right, buddy. Phidias, it's been a joy. It's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you for calling in. Thank you for being a good sport, by the way. Oh, you know what? I'm going to let you go just because I know it's like 3 a.m. there, right? You are going to let me know because or you got bored of me or because it's uh, 1 a.m. Oh, it's 1 a.m.? Which one? What time do you usually go to bed? Uh, I can stay awake for you for the next two days if you want. Two days? <laughs> <laughs> You're planning a video, eh? No, I'm not I stayed on the H3 what? podcast for 48 hours without sleeping. Do you want to hear something funny? How funny? On a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I think it's 9. 9? All right, I'll, I'm going to judge you. I'm going to judge you. Go ahead. This is the first time I'm going to say it publicly, but I'm going to run for the elections in my country, Cyprus, as a one person being in the European Parliament uh, out of the 700 uh, people that they get to be. And I'm curious to see how it will go. It will be for a YouTube video, but I actually want to win. <laughs> my country is only one million population, and I'm kind of the most famous person here in, in my country. So I'm I'm curious to see how it will go. Maybe we can the next time we can. Uh, but I have very low chances. Like, uh, can I ask you a question? Ten percent. Can I ask you a question? Not that what you said isn't interesting, but I didn't find it funny at all. Well. You As a stupid, like that stupid YouTuber running for parliament and all this stuff, I think it's funny. Okay. It's never been done before, though. It's, it's like, a little funny. Nobody nine I, out of ten? I don't nah. think it's a nine out of ten, but it's funny that he's going to run for office. How, you know what how, is it? How much? Can I point something how out? How much you think? I mean, it was zero. It was like, it's like a three out of ten. In oh, funny it was zero. Uh, I, no, I like, give, it's a little funny, but it's not like super. It's, it's interesting. I like the idea. It's, it's yeah. a nine. It's a nine for me. <laughs> It's a nine for you. I didn't mean, you laugh. Okay, fair I didn't see you I, I laugh weirdly. He, la he laughs weirdly. Yeah, I, I do think it's funny <laughs> that he asked for your controversial opinion, Phidias, and you said that you are not a fan of democracy, and now you've just let us know that you are running an election. He, it's the emperor. This is no, how he, democracy ends. He doesn't like modern day democracy. I know, but like he wants Twitter. I'm, I'm not just saying you don't have to think about that deeply, but just the iron, that adds some humor, right? It's ironic. That's but, funny in itself, right? Yeah. He said he doesn't like yes. democracy, but, but he's, he's running in an election. Okay, if you get that meta, then it's a pretty good joke. Right, That's like kid? seven out of ten. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> if Ethan was your VP, that'd be ten out of ten. It's Are you going to do that as part of your election campaign? Dab on Dab. Your, the citizenry? <laughs> I think so. I will, I will send you some. Photos. You could be like Zelensky. He had a kind of a similar rise. And then you could, uh, you could also fight the Russians. You think you'd be make a good wartime president? No, not yet. No. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> well, they say... He's ex-Navy SEALs. You know, Phidias, they say nobody's ever truly ready. <laughs> well, some people are. Some people had already... What's uh, Ducky getting into? It, you know, just what? paper? Oh, yeah, he's okay. Oh, people... Well, hold on. The, hold on. This person said, don't come for me, but why is Phidias kind of dot, dot, dot? I think someone might have the hots for you, brother. Oh, no. The whole chat has been oh, saying they're that. Oh, they're thirsty. I think they like you. Yeah. So Bro, I said he's not that ugly, but chat bitch. says, no, no, no. <laughs> this man is fine piece of man meat. Break me off a piece. I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> Let's see it. You're a, oh. you're a trained seal. Let, you know, show us what you're working with. Oh, man. This went well for the last okay. person. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's not, for the ladies. <laughs> for the ladies only. What about gay men? Are they allowed to look or no? Yes, they, they are allowed. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! Look, but don't touch. All right, all right. Let's see what you got there, buddy. Hey, Jeff Whitick, watch out! You might get bumped. Wow. Oh man, this this is future president right there. Oh shit! New balance. I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, brother. I apologize, people, for my stupidity, nude edt, but. I did it for entertaining purposes. No, you looked good, man. Are you entertained? Like Elon Musk is saying, are you 
Uh, like the gladiators say. I was going to say, thank you. Are you <laughs> not entertained? Did you know that you had this poll on women? <laughs> it seems like the women are going nuts for you. Did, do, you do you generally have a disappeal, this magnetic, magnetism for, to, for women? Do they come no. to you? <laughs> the op- the opposite. <laughs> yeah, I feel that, brother. I have the opposite effect. I repel. Do you know how hard I had to fight to f- get a woman interested in me? It's tough, dude. And YouTube people think helps a lot, but YouTube doesn't really help. Actually. I didn't even have YouTube at the time. I was just a fucking <laughs> dude. I didn't even have a job. <laughs> Fuck YouTube. YouTube. I didn't even have a damn job. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Big Fid. We, you know what? This was a great talk. I appreciate it. You won us over. You did. No, but please, guys, if I do other stuff, please make fun of me. Don't, don't. Now, oh. don't become pussies. Not uh, <laughs> right. You got it, brother. Fair. You pussies. got it, man. I appreciate oh, you giving us the green light. I appreciate that. Okay. All right, Fid. Get some sleep. We love you. Get out there and steal some shit, boy. We're watching. I will try to improve and never. Actually, before I leave, I did this uh, stealing stuff. And because when you are young, you want to break the rules, you want to do all this stuff. But I feel that chapter of my life that stealing stuff and doing all this stuff, it's closed. And how old are you? You will see 23. Oh, you're so okay. You're such a young man. Good for you. I'm old as shit. How old do you think I am? Uh, 40. Just up a few years from there. No, I'm 30. No, Dan. I'm 38. 42. 42. You were pretty close. I'm 38. Wow. Ethan Klein, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a sound bite right there. <laughs> 38. 23. Good for you, man. All right. Listen, Fid, get out there and sh- t- take the world by the bull, by the, what are we taking the world by? The horn, the horns or something else? Horn. The horn. By the sleeping bag. Take the world by the sleeping bag. And- Marco Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> have you, have you heard this one, Phidias? I don't know if you ca- play it, Zach. Be actor, actress. Marco Robbie. Bro. I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> so that was a bit nasty. I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, she's so pretty, guys. She's so you had the, I mean, damn. You really uh, just went, you put it all out there. <laughs> she's so pretty. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> I want to fuck this bitch. We really liking that soundbite. I think it could be a contender potentially. Oh, yeah. absolutely. That's oh, a yeah. good one. All right, Phidias. It really was nice talking to you. Appreciate you calling in. Thank you, Phidias. My pleasure, guys. I love you. All right. We'll be, fu- we'll be watching. Good luck watching. out there. We wish you well. Be well. Bye. Bye. Uh, future president of Cyprus. Wow. Wow. That was everything I hoped it would be. You know, I always, I'm always happy when they call in and win us over like that. Mm-hmm. He's a good guy. He's got a great attitude. He's a good sport. Yeah. He was self-aware, very self-aware. Yeah. Which is to his credit, obviously. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. He had some interesting ideas about paraplegics and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and like, equality like everyone and else. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Make them go down the stairs just That's like everyone thinking, else. Yeah. I'm not racist. <laughs> Walk down those fucking stairs. <laughs> mm. uh, cool well, good ball. luck to him on his campaign. I mean, like he said, uh, you know. Cyprus is a sm- small island. Only a million people? I didn't even know it was that small. That's crazy. Right. Uh, yeah. Phidias would... says he's the most famous Cyp- Cyprian. Cyprion. Uh, Cy- Cypriot? Cypriot? Is that it? Cyprion. Yeah. Something like that. Um, Cyprion. I mean, wait, hold on. Who's just most... in raw numbers, maybe? I don't... Who is the most, most famous living person from Cyprus? There's a lot of people who move there from Europe because they have low taxes. Cypriots. Mm. So famous people move there, but, but originally from Cyprus, maybe. Yeah. He's probably contender. Here I have oh, academic and scientists. Nobody cares. Actors. <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> um, artist. No artists. Businessmen. It's me. It's Fidias. 
historical king. There's lots of kings on here. Jurist? What the fuck does that mean? Famous jurists? <laughs> the hell? Musician. There's. This is a long list, man. Mythical figures are even on here. They had to put in. They don't. Wow. They put in the mythical figures. They're so desperate. It's and here, here's the the people that are not real that are famous in our culture. <laughs> Number yeah. one, it says well, it's been around God. for a while. It's been around for it's a while. George Michael's, but he's not around anymore. Rip. Is Phidias on this list? What's his name? Let me see if he's on the list. Uh, I'm not saying his name, but I also don't recognize any of the people they're claiming are famous. So they're probably more either just European or even just local. Let There's me get his a vocally well known. His uh, name. Oh, it is Phidias. Yeah, he's not. You're not on the list, boy. I found. Brother. I found his source. Famous birthdays. He's number one from Cyprus. Okay. Oh, famous. Uh, well, then, so he's right there on. There you go. He's right on. That's our boy. Oh, I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't even know who these other people are. Like Easy Dub. Easy Dub. For big. It says fit. he's 27. Did he not just say he's 23? Wait. He did say 23. <laughs> and I was shocked. I was like, wow, much younger than I You think he's lying thought. about his age? Yeah. I don't know. He's definitely not. Wait, why would he lie about his age? <laughs> he told me he's the most I, honest person alive. I didn't, personally, I didn't question it, but now that well, I'm saying that's this, what he does. Don't you he think it's more likely that famous birthdays is wrong? That does seem more likely. That does seem more likely. But Let me see how accurate mine is this evening. Well, the people know my birthday, though. It's like not a secret. Hmm. Why did you, who the fuck, I've, I think I've talked about this, but why the fuck did you choose, who did this? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this photo, and why, who, who has done this to me? Okay, I mean, yeah, there's a good one. This is Iconic, not the right? cover. <laughs> 38, there it is, their, their age for me is exact. Exact. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Should I read my synopsis? Here's trivia. He began working as a marketing executive in Israel. He and his wife, Hila, created a collaborative channel called Ethan Hila, which has more than 500,000 subscribers. True. Very true. Uh, originally from California, he moved to is uh, Israel with his wife, Hila. That's true. They were forced back to the United States, but would make their way back to Israel again. They welcomed a son, Theodore. They welcomed another son, Bruce. This, this is very accurate, actually. Very accurate. Number two from Ventura. Who's more famous than me? What? Who the fuck's this? August Maturo? Who's this? Punk. This dude's got me beat. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Wait. Boy meet, Girl Meets World? Is that a mm, new show? Yeah, it's a... Fuck. These young bucks are coming up, man. I thought I was the big Ventura superstar. I'm running for mayor of Ventura, actually. <laughs> All right. Very exciting. <laughs> Who's number one in the whole world in famous birthdays? You know what I mean? That's who I want to know. Matt Pat? Crushing it. He's trending up. Bob Saget? Trending up big time. Rest in peace. 115. Bobby Boy's up there. Taylor Swift is on the top. She's the most famous birthday. Yep. The full list is in the Discord. Thank you. Yeah, let's take a look here. This is important data. So T Swift is number one. Charlie D'Amelio. So her star has not fallen. She's the number two birthday girl. Beast is eight. Biebs is eleven. Hmm. Look at all these famous birthdays. It doesn't even say their birthday date. It doesn't say the date. Shouldn't it say the date? My Michael Jackson is 28 still. Here, let me look at the trivia. <laughs> Did you know that Michael Jackson had motion sensors outside of his master bedroom? <laughs> His 1982 <laughs> album Thriller became the best selling album in history. That is a good fucking album, boy. All right, famous birthdays. <laughs> Phidias, you got some explaining to do, bro. This shit says you're 27. I lived with them. It was one of the most relaxing 
relaxing feeling I felt ever. Like there were nothing to think about. Like even if I had stuff, messages, like the environment, they didn't give a fuck. But I, I was very happy and yeah, I'm very grateful that you chose to come because uh, this is kind of a big thing for me because I love this kind of video and right. like the podcast and starting. Right. Now it's like, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah, thank I you. I love you. Thank you for the conversation. And now we're <laughs> going to spend the whole day together without cameras. Bye, people. What? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here is a Instagram post from 195 weeks Bro, ago. why did he lie? This, well, hold on, hold on. There's so many layers to this. Wait, he told me he's the most honest person alive. Listen. <laughs> and he straight lied to my face. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Ethan, <laughs> look, there's a lot going so on here. Because yeah. oh, this is in 2020. It says, I'm 24 years old, but it is a cake <laughs> with a 20 on it. Either and way, this was mm. in 2020, which if uh, this is accurate, then he's 23. Do Cyprins age differently? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is like the fucking Da Vinci Code right now. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to add the 82 on the kid's Can we get too. him? Is he oh, if you reverse it, I, if you yeah. reverse it, it's 28. That's his real age. Right. I'm gonna try to get him back on the phone because this is bullshit. Like I trusted him. We have good rapport, and now there's a lot of we have a lot of questions. Why would he type, I'm 24? Like, that's not a joke. <laughs> There's no reference that I'm aware of. What that the fuck? That was a bit nasty. I apologize. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this just... I don't know what to make of this. So, but then, <clears throat> if he w is to turn 24 years ago, he said he's 23. But it's, it just became 2024. Right, so if right. his birthday's later in the year, he would right. still be 23. Right. I hmm. believe him. You believe him? Yeah, I do. I believe it. <laughs> All right, let's move on. We, uh, we've dedicated quite a bit of a time to our friend Phidias. There's some other pressing matters to get to before we get to the Gypsy Rose situation. Are there? For, for example, our friend Arab World News. I don't know y'all if y'all remember him. Oh, of course. He's yeah. our exclusive official H3 podcast news of the world source. Apparently his channel got, um, Demonetized, which is a damn shame and a fucking tragedy. However, he started a new channel and I wanted to give it a shout out. <clears throat> oh, he didn't post anything yet. Come on, man. Subscribe. Sub Wait, hold on. Subscribing not available? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it says an error. Is subscribing not available while using permissions. Huh? Can you oh, are you a mod? Am I a mod? Did, oh, maybe he made... Wait, <laughs> I might be, because this is our podcast channel on board. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Well, shout out, so you don't need to... Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. What an honor. I was able to subscribe. There you go. So how do I... What can I do if I'm a mod? Let me see. Can I edit? Uh, well, if you can, don't... Don't. I just want to see. I don't think I am a mod. Because I, I, I just, you know... Yeah, and actually, uh, I don't think that that is the actual podcast account that you're logged into on there. That's like a dummy account. Okay. It just has that icon. All right. So anyway, give a shout out to uh, Arab World News. I was hoping to watch some of his current coverage, but... Uh, well, he's just getting uh, back on his feet. But yeah, I, uh, I spoke with him uh, right before the break about all of this. Uh, he was asking for advice, and uh, <laughs> it did, from the... From the way that he described it to me, it did seem like bullshit. I I don't really understand why he his didn't channel do got anything wrong. Yeah, so. Arab World News is like the gentlest soul in the world. All right, so uh, <laughs> I, guess I I advise him to just appeal to YouTube and go through that whole process. But I guess they rejected his appeal. So they, he goes, "Hey, do you have anyone at YouTube to help?" I'd be like, "I don't have anyone at YouTube to help me." Yeah, exactly. Just their biggest live streamer, probably close to. Probably not actually. Speed is a YouTube. Live stream, he probably. Ah, uh, yeah, he's pretty big. Yeah, he's a big deal. Uh, ba -de -do -ba -de -de. okay. Here's one more thing that I've been noticing over the break mm. that I want to talk about. Comedians are starting to take themselves so fucking seriously. It's like the unfunniest thing in the world. They were the last starting to. Defense. Well, it's like it's been happening. It's yeah. been happening. But like, are comedians supposed to be like? 
irreverent, irre, irre, irreverent, and like uh, the whole point is not to take yourself seriously. That's funny. Mm-hmm. There's very few people in the world that should take themselves seriously. A doctor is one. It's pretty serious. Maybe uh, a what about judge? like a what about like a fun doctor like a, like Patch Adams type situation? Mm. Doctor Dre. Where well, Patch Adams died, didn't he? Uh, the actor did. To the goat, dude. That's not what I meant, Dan. But did as, Patch Adams as, die? As Bill or some, I, there was someone died in it. But, but what I'll say is that in the words of Bill Gates, well, he died, so <laughs> it's not your fault. All right. Anyway, the point I'm getting to is Joe Rogan and Jimmy Carr. Did, was this one cleared? Yeah. Okay. I great. just checked again right now. <laughs> you know what's fun? This is one of these vi- movies where it was such a big deal and everyone was wa- talking about it. It has horrible reviews. Really? Horrible. I mean, I saw it when I was a kid, but I don't know. Uh... What was the one you just recently watched, Dan? Garp? Was that it? What? Didn't you just recently watch a Robin Williams movie? Uh, the world according to Garp. Yeah, I didn't watch that recently. I thought you like at all. I, I watched it years ago. Convers- I, maybe Look at this shit. We talked what? about it recently. Yeah. Look at this. Twenty-one percent brutalized. Oof. I'll tell you something else. I don't know what's the deal. I love this movie. What dreams may come. Oh, what well, dreams may come is a cool movie. It's a fucking phenomenal movie. I love it, and it's just shit on. Fifty-two, huh? Even Family Guy did a bit about no one. How bad did it get reviewed? It's so, Family it's, Guy did a bit about how bad this movie got reviewed. Yeah. Uh-huh. That is so hyper <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I anyway. Okay, so here's a clip of uh, Ryan Carr or Jimmy Carr. He's a, a English comedian, very famous actually. So a lot of you probably know who he is. And he came on Joe Rogan, and here's what they talked about. The thing I'm working on at the moment, I'm slightly <laughs> jealous of the club. I'll be honest. I sort of saw the club last night. Like, this is quite something to do, to set up a club and to have that community, and it's great. And I think that I'm, try- I'm working at the moment on a, I don't know whether it's a book or whether it's a, I think it might be like an online course, but a comedy course. Because and how to do stand-up? How to write jokes. How to be a stand-up. I That's think, great. I think, here's my vision for it. I think we're going through a golden period. But maybe it's just beginning. Comedy's quite a new medium anyway. Yeah. We get... Yeah, nobody's... No, comedy's... No, nobody's been watching it until very recently. Who's been doing comedy or certainly someone in our us. generation does. <laughs> you know, if you think about it like... As a career, George, I guess. I, I thought comedy was alive and well. There's that's not true. Yeah, there's they're... bards. There's fucking jesters, jesters there's and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just wrong. Don Rickles. I was trying to like frame it in a way where it's just it kind of makes sense, but it's just moronic. But go on. This isn't even the best part. Rich Carlin and and uh, uh, Richard Pryor were John the Baptist. Mm. Well, someone's coming through. It's He's like Jesus. He's they were the. Okay. Like, it feels like it's it's getting bigger and bigger. My vision is it gets taught in schools. So mm. we teach we teach music and we teach drama and art. And I think stand up comedy is an art form. And I think we need to get less <laughs> less well, magical thinking and more okay, let's put down a language like music, you can write it. Mm-hmm. Let's come up with the I mean I I kinda I'm working on like fifty joke types. But let's come up with this man with a curriculum. This is the unfunniest <laughs> shit you could ever speak into the into a microphone. This dude takes himself so goddamn seriously. He wants to make com- stand up comedy required curriculum. <laughs> you know, and then uh, not only that, he wants to dissect it into different joke types. Yeah, and do a seminar about how to be funny. Which I promise you, you cannot teach. You cannot teach. If somebody's tra- trying to teach you how to be funny, they're stealing your money. <laughs> you, you're better off bo- getting like a uh, Hustler University, <laughs> get a better education there. I mean, to it, like they don't teach stand-up comedy in in American schools, at least. Uh, that's true. Um, but there's definitely like Actors. elements of uh, yeah theater classes and stuff, like where you do either 
comedic plays or you so, do like improv. Like we on, had improv classes at my high school. What you're doing is really disrespectful to comedy. As mm -hmm. a, you're you're lumping it in with performance arts, right? And it's actually more. It's so much more mm -hmm. important. Way than more. That. Yeah. Way yeah. more important. <laughs> right. You know. Right. 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 <laughs> And Joe's just like, yeah, we are that. We are that important. <laughs> With a, a way of analyzing this and teach people how to do it. Because what does it give you? Like, if your kid does stand-up comedy, okay, well, it's, they have to find their voice. Uh, they have to look at things in a, in a, from a different angle, a different perspective. It's about pattern mm. recognition. These are all transferable skills. No, mm. they are not. They are not. <laughs> they are absolutely not. I 100% I disagree. I mean, there's like, you could... <laughs> Probably okay. teach somebody to be a little bit funnier than they currently are, but you're not gonna. You can't go from. I don't think so. I don't even think you can. You can't even, even like slightly little. improve somebody's no. sense of humor. No, I don't. Because hmm. he goes, he goes. I can teach pattern recognition. Like, what are you talking about? Like doing IQ tests, like moving blocks around. That's supposed to make me funny. <laughs> to recognize patterns. Yeah. What is comedy homework? He Why? clearly thinks about comedy in a very like analytical way. If he thinks like. We can, we're gonna break it down into the 50 bullet points of, dork. of <laughs> what a fucking dork. What a nerd, dude. My comedians are sick. You do you, this guy, they always talk about Richard Pryor and uh, George Carlington. <laughs> George Carlin. Carlin. George Carlin. <laughs> George Carlin. You know, and here's this guy being such a nerd and such a dumbass, taking himself seriously. Richard Pryor set himself on fire with a crack pipe. That's how the fuck comedy's done, bitch. <laughs> Apparently he ran down the street on fire after smoking crack and lighting himself on fire. That's comedy. That man did not take himself seriously. And he was serious, though. George Carlin just had a, uh, well, not him, he's been dead, but they, someone made an AI uh, special of his comedy style and they used his voice. And it was Is it really, good? It, I found it enjoyable, yeah. That's weird as shit. Yeah. Um, in the evening of June 9, 1980, Pryor poured 151 proof rum all over himself and lit it himself on fire. Other sources. It's very tragic, and you guys are both laughing. No, he a does a bit. He has a famous bit about it. Oh, I know. I yeah. don't know. I've seen it. So give me a break. <laughs> Other sources, including the LAPD, say that what burned him that night was an explosion that happened after freebasing cocaine. <laughs> How bad can you be at smoking and crack? I never heard of that. But the well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you are an authority, so I've done it once yeah. before. Um, hey. the way he told the story is that he was he blew the crack pipe exploded and he set on fire. Right. Mm -hmm. So shout out, shout out. Rip, so shout and, out to our, the goat. Jimmy Carr, you don't know anything, bro. Shut up. Go smoke some crack, you coward. <laughs> And it's about finding your voice. The reason every stand-up is interesting to watch is because it's individual voices. Yeah. And really, what's growing up about? What's school about? Finding your voice, finding yeah. out what you're about, finding out who you are. Like, I don't think it's a dumb idea to it teach stand-up comedy and to say, well, everyone should give this a go. Yeah. Even people that have done... I've got a couple of people that come and see me live or whatever that tell me, oh, I did like four or five gigs ten years ago. Mm -hmm. But they enjoy stand-up comedy more than the average person. It's like someone who's complete. Anyway, <sighs> pretty obnoxious. A little bit. Uh, there's more though. There's been a whole slew of comedians pit annoying me. Uh, here's Rogan in the same vein saying, "This is phenomenal." I'll just play it. You guys can react to it. It's short. Wait, why isn't it showing a video? <gasps> You know, it did that to me yesterday. Uh, yeah. it, it ended up showing up, but I had to refresh it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I just refreshed. All right, Joey, drop some knowledge on me. Yeah, we say, you know, in the comedy world, we say we're the last line of defense <laughs> because this is where, where the woke meets the wall. The woke meets the wall with stand up comedy. This Fuck yeah. The <laughs> last line Jesus. of defense. Joe Rogan. Against they were woke? The last line of Specifically? defense. Yeah, we say there's no we're, woke, we're woke meets the wall. <laughs> if you think about it, he is the most. His work is more important than pretty much anything. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, they were the last line of defense. It's the last line of defense. Yeah. So, <laughs> what were if we didn't have comedians, I think we'd probably be Nazi Germany. Probably would have lost to the Nazis. 
The Nazis were very woke, by the way. They were. <laughs> they were so. Why? Because anti-Semitism is now a woke thing. <laughs> I don't know. It's just because they always say it's like Hating the, the, the woke, woke, the woke Nazis. Like that's what they they claim they're defending against. So woke Nazis. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but I mean, dude, come on. You guys sit in a room and goof around. Like, shut the fuck up. It's so obnoxious. You know, maybe you inspire some people. Maybe you say something that's interesting and unique. You're not the last line of defense. Stop taking yourself that seriously. They were the last line of defense. No, you're not, Joe. They were the last line of defense. No. They're the, they were the la last line of defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we Joe Rogan who's like, "I think vaccines cause autism." We're the last line of defense. Say, you know, in the comedy world, we say we're the last line of defense. Yeah. Right, shut up. Uh, and then the next one, this one's actually just really um, really infuriating. This guy, Andrew Schultz. Recently, though, the he's popular. You guys probably all know him. He has a podcast called Flagrant 2. I don't know what happened to Flagrant 1, but apparently just skipped over it. Um, <clears throat> They had this dude, Academics, on who is a DJ. Drake! Drake! Yeah. It's my Drake, top five! Drake, it's Drake! He's the, Drake! Drake! He's the Drake guy. So anyway, I've been watching a lot about him. This guy sucks so bad. But anyway, here, watch this clip, and I guarantee you're all going to hate him afterwards. Recently, though, the driver came up, which, by the way, here's the thing. If you're going to think about this night, you have three people who go to a party. It's Kylie Jenner's party. They're all intoxicated. Apparently, one of them was, one of them is about to be passed out. Try one of these. What is this? this no, is that's a, a weed so shit. He, he, he's I'm telling going. a story. He's telling a story. And he just flat out. Jeez. Just ends his story to do this. It's a zen to nicotine. <laughs> oh, hell no. No, no, no. no. no you're going to be hooked. No, I'm good. I'm good. It's not about a hook. You won't get hooked. It's, oh, hell no. Uh-uh. I'm good. It's, it's like a dip. No, just no, no. try it. No, no, Will I you just try it? I got addictive personality for real, for real. This is like, not going to no, make you addictive. Has an addictive no, no. Person. Like, I have a really addictive for Like, how does You see, whatever you're doing right there. You're gonna see me like with a mouthful of acorns, my nigga. We're not, <laughs> we're not doing this shit. You're not about to go get me like, Good, like, like, nah, nah, we're not just doing this. Just try it. Nah, I can't do it, bro. You nah. can literally take it out a second no, no, afterwards. You're no, not gonna feel oh, anything. Oh, hell no. Hell just to try the no. one. No, no, I can't do it, brother. I can't shit, do it. Bro. Just no, try the white boy no, shit for one. No, no, Why are you so afraid? We drank Sad. Hennessy the whole no, no. time. We finished a whole. No, no, I get it. I get it. What is this? You That's a bottle. This dude is doing like the Denzel, like, are you gonna smoke this crack or not? It's so juvenile. It's like a bottle type of Is that a fifth? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a fifth of Hennessy. Nah, it's not a fifth. It's more than a fifth. But anyway, here's the thing. Yo, Andrew, I can't do it. That's so funny. Yo, even I am like, I'm so an funny. addict. One thing I've realized. <laughs> How many fluid ounces is it? Maybe we can do the math. I can't do it. Why don't you anyway, try one? No, 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 because I'm going to be addicted. You're not going to be addicted. It's such a stupid no. thing to think. Yeah, you're gonna and when you also, see me. Also, you're probably an alcoholic anyway, so what are you concerned about? No, no, no. Probably. So, all right, hold on. Let me. Dude, that, I don't know, that shit pissed me off, like, the, it's just gives me flashbacks to being peer pressured to, like, when you're, like, oh, in crap. middle school. No, dude, just, mm -hmm. just take one. Zins aren't even it. that good anyway. Just take one. I'll take, try one. Is that what he's offering him? Yeah, yeah, try it. Just take it. I will try it. Okay. Yeah, try it now. I'm with the boys. I'm cool, like, yeah. the boys. You, take it. Yeah, you were so fucking easy to peer pressure, dude. Bro, I am. That's the fucked up thing. I got talked into doing so many things I didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, but that's why I feel bad watching him because he's really. I see. He's 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 drawing the line. Thanks. What do I do with it? So you put it in the upper decky. Right here. Yeah. Upper decky. Upper decky. <laughs> Just get a little Zimbabwe accent. So you swallow, right? What language are you speaking? You spit or swallow? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Swallow, <laughs> baby. Never spit. Cheers, my dude. Yeah, that gives me flashbacks to high school too. Being like one of the only Arab kids there, being pressured to drink. Oh. I didn't want to drink. Mm. Even the girls would join in. They would they would say wild shit too. Just try it. Who cares <laughs> about your religion? That's did he? Uh, I guess did uh, did he ever give in? No, no. He stood his ground. Yeah. Well, good for him. He's a grown ass man. Yeah, I know, but uh, I don't know the guy. He, he's on that sh guy's show and he's yelling at him. I don't know if eventually he'd be like. Just fold and be like, fine, fuck it. I get, am, I, am I overreacting? I, I hate that. I just no, yeah, I saw I, that and I was like, especially I if you, if you had that happen to you a lot as a kid. 
I was always like, you know, because that definitely happens. And I was always able to just be like, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. I don't yeah. care. But like, I've seen other people getting pressured into things they don't want to do. By the way, I've done snooze, you guys. This I'm not doing a snooze uh, virginity thing here. Also, I think this is lighter than snooze. This is some... Well, there's yeah. no tobacco in this. There's no tobacco. So weird. There's nicotine in it? Yes. There's six huh. milligrams of nicotine. Okay. Six grams? Milligrams. That's a blot. Like, the gum I chew is two. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, so they offer these in three and six. I ripped through. <laughs> I'm not going to say why, but this has helped me. Well, hold on. You don't smoke anymore, right? No. I haven't had a cigarette. Then, two. dude, you're hey, crushing nice. Nice. Woo. Then that shit rules. Yeah. That's like the best investment ever, man. If it gets you to stop smoking, the hell yeah. The problem is I'm ripping through about a can of this a day. Is it so, expensive? Uh, Online for a roll, which is five, I think it's like 20 bucks. So. so it's similar to cigarettes. Yeah. So it's not. 20 bucks a day, eh? Little Zimbabwe. But yeah, that's how much smokers spend on that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you think? Um, I don't really. I Want another so one? Far, yeah, one more. I, I need it. I need one for the other side of my <laughs> two, lip. Two upper deckies. That's that's hardcore shit. I mean, I don't feel anything yet. Just just getting started. Mm. This is some pussy shit compared to snooze. Snooze. Well, I'm telling you, when I first tried snooze, my ears were shooting out. <laughs> I've never felt anything yeah. like that in my life. Mm. Most people would try first time and pass out. <laughs> it's so like, strong. It's, it's so crazy. fucked up. There's one snooze brand, like the normal snooze, like the general snooze is like 10 milligrams, I think, of nicotine. There's one called Siberia that's like 50. <laughs> that's like knocks you That under. sounds like dangerous. It sounds like hell, dude. So how long does it take to absorb the... Um, the starts immediately. You say six or eight? This is six milligrams. So how long do you think I, until I get it all that? Um, What, like it starts hitting you? Well, how long do you keep it in your mouth? Uh, I, about an hour, 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah. The slow release. Yeah. It should probably already hit you. Yeah, you should be yeah. feeling... I mean, I chew nicotine gum yeah. like all the time. That's so. true. If you're used to it, you won't Yeah, lose. nicotine doesn't really affect me that much. Although I, I'm feeling it a little bit. Do, do you, you feel, feel it, Zach? Um, I, I do. Um, the morning one, really. That's a good one. The coffee. Hmm. Um, do you feel the burn at all? Just a slight tingle. Yeah. That's, that's good. I feel good. <laughs> Love the tingle. Yeah. Holy shit! I might be. I actually might be addicted to these. I, I might be wanting to buy these. <laughs> yeah. I'll get. I'll, get, I'll bring. A, I'll bring one for you. But these ones, are, you apparently, you guys say, Love says this does not cause cancer. Um, snus. I think. Well, I've read studies. I'm not well, saying this one doesn't or. have nicotine, so that, that's different. Yeah, you sh snus tobacco. shouldn't cause cancer, in mouth cancer. This one doesn't have tobacco. I mean tobacco. I think not having tobacco is probably a very good thing. From what I've read, tobacco doesn't cause mouth cancer, but I don't know. Well, it's all the I'm tar sure. and all the shit in it, yeah. the way it's processed. Yeah. From what I've uh, looked at, snus is cured tobacco, whereas like dip and chew is not cured, which is why you have to spit it out. Mm. So. Snooze it up. Wait, people are saying coffee flavor? There's different flavors? All different flavors. Yeah, I, Zach, I thought they made that illegal. Zach gave me a coffee flavored one once, right? Zach, that's what it was. Coffee, yeah. Well, in the state of California, you, they only have the unflavored ones if you get them online. Oh, you gave me some online shit. <laughs> from that's the, the beauty of uh, America, baby. <laughs> from the Zen go next so. door. <laughs> All right, let's move on. So we've talked about that. We've talked about this. This Austin McBroom story is good. I'm going to hit this really fast. You guys know I love Austin McBroom, Ace Family. He's moving on to his new scam, and it's so damn funny. Love, boy, uh, this this lady who I guess is a uh, OF model mm -hmm. posted this DM she got from him. <laughs> Didn't this guy have his house foreclosed on, she said? Yes. He goes, my bad for the random DM. Are you signed to an agency? Oh. <laughs> Dude, how nuts is that? That's pretty out there. <laughs> That is nuts. Oh, damn. He's trying to get into like the Andrew Tate game. He's trying to become a pimp. Mm -hmm. Yep. Middle hand. It's a vertical. It's a new vertical. He's tried everything else. You know? So watch out, ladies. Uh, Austin is in the DMs. Protect yourself. Oh, her response is good. She's a... Uh, 
right on the nose. She says, no, I think agencies are predatory scams run by corny men who think they can involve themselves in women's business. Yeah. You don't need that shit. She knows exactly what's up. Have a good night. I, I, I have a good night. Um, <clears throat> God damn, there's so much I want to get to. The LeBrant family, these Christian vloggers, you guys will probably know who they are. They have so many kids and they're having another kid. And this is the photo they posted like, oh my God. Stop. Damn. They for sure had this baby for content. Like, there's no question about it. Oh, yeah. Like, the minute they found out, they brought all the kids out. He did this pose. You know how long it took to, like, do this pose, hold them up perfectly, and then to have all the kids looking at the camera? And probably every time they did it, he had to go walk around to the tripod, the little tripod on the floor, look through the photos, and decide if they were good or not. Probably it took a long time, maybe even an hour to get this photo right with all those young kids. Yeah, having them all look at the camera, that must have took a lot of time. Oh, you see the the younger brothers, he's it looks like he's holding his younger sister's head because yep. she she wouldn't look, which I understand. It's you know, you can't really tell a, a young baby to, to do that type of thing. So um Hopefully this kid's on salary. I hope he's getting paid. So congratulations to the LeBrant family. Mmm. That is a content baby right there, my friends. They actually are naming him content. Interesting. <laughs> Weird. They're naming him December Revenue. It's actually really interesting. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Have you guys seen this? Um, Ariana's out with SpongeBob, her new si significant other. I love him. He's such a fucking interesting dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll say. Interesting. He's really interesting. But, okay, so here they are. I know this photo's gone around, so I don't know how many of y'all have seen it, but I don't think this is photoshopped. Which is absolutely bananas, but here's her brother, and, it's interesting. and here is Spongebob. No, it's real. It's real. Oh, yeah. that's weird. It's, it's uncanny. It's yeah, absolutely it's unreal. Like, what the hell? Those noses are, like, identical. Holy. The, the smile, mm -hmm. the creases, the eyes. Painted boys. Painted glossy. Glossy. Uh, I was like, this has to be edited. I thought it might be. Mm -mm. Oh, here's another one. Let's see. I haven't seen this one before. Oh, this one's worse. You think so? Yeah, kinda. Yeah. <sighs> Whoa. I mean, <laughs> it's really, it's really interesting. How do you find two people that look so similar? You know. It's interesting. Yeah. It is interesting. Hmm. Bro, I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what SpongeBob said <laughs> as he left his family, a newborn baby. Mm -hmm. There is no way they last, right? They better. They, you know what I mean? They, there's a lot of pressure on her. Yeah. But I, I think there's no, there's no way. And then he's just going to be <laughs> the biggest loser of all time. Yeah, yeah he's going to really reflect over the past couple of years if they break up. And look, dude, she has a very specific type of man, obviously. You're not going to date up like this again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Once you're back on the free market, you are not going to be pulling. Damn, they ruined that baby's life for nothing then. That's what I'm saying. That baby's never going to trust anyone. <laughs> Thank you, next. Yeah, get that thing in therapy now. Oh, God. Interesting. Very interesting. What do we do about it? Ow. It's interesting. Um, this David Dobrik tea is kind of interesting. I'll do this. This is the last thing, I promise. The David thing's a little long. We could do Gypsy Friday. If it's no, 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 no. We're doing it today. We're doing okay. it. Yeah. Um, is, all right, let's just... Uh, let's just let's just all right, jump all right, right all into right, it. All right, all right, let's do it. Let's do the Gypsy Rose PowerPoint. 
This is Gypsy Rose Blan- Blanchard. Blanchard. <laughs> and apologies if you're Gypsy Rose simp. We are, we have decided to not leave her alone. Uh, in, a, in the proverbial sense that we're talking about her. Yeah, in the sense that we're telling her story the way she wants yeah. people to tell her. Yeah, I'm kidding. Please, yeah. leave me alone. Don't clip that. No. Don't clip that. Ethan says he will not leave Gypsy Rose alone. All right, go ahead, uh, Olivia. Okay. Um. Do you, yeah, Gypsy Rose. So. Great. Next line. In order to have a discourse about what's happening right now, all of these articles are obviously flooding our timelines, our everything. We must have a discourse about how we got here. So, next slide. One more. They're in a private plane together? Yeah. You, they, they got benefits from, um, okay. from how sick uh, okay. Gypsy was. Okay, sweet. Seemed to be. Um, so, Gypsy Rose Blanchard was born in 1991 to her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. Dee Dee. <laughs> um, You're Dee so Dee. fast with that. Jeez. Who's ready? They, uh, yep, Louisiana, if you go to the next one. Um, Gypsy is a victim of Munchausen by proxy. Um, as soon as she was born, her mom claimed that she had sleep apnea, and then going off from there, she later died diagnosed her daughter with leukemia, muscular dystrophy. She said she required a wheelchair, a feeding tube, and she had a list she had a list of these problems that just went on forever, the which included also seizures, asthma, hearing and visual impairment. So she was actually doing chemo and stuff? Um she was getting treatments, but she was shaving Gypsy's head to make it seem like oh, she was receiving wow. treatments. So if you go to the I just think it's it's interesting because we talk about how hard it is to get medical tests when you're afraid you're sick. Yeah. But Gypsy Rose has got, like, she's fine. <laughs> and she's plugged in, man. Mm. Hmm. Well, at least we know she's okay. Yes. We did we all do. the tests. Yeah, we did all the tests. She's healthy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> so Gypsy wasn't actually unwell. Her mother had been lying about her symptoms. Um, experts obviously have nailed it down as Munchausen by proxy. Um, which is what? I've... Which is, here, I have it written. Behavior stemmed from mental disorder, Munchausen syndrome by proxy. Dee Dee wanted to be a caretaker. She fiend and induced illness in her daughter. So it's when you basically um, use someone, usually it's kids, mm-hmm. and usually it's just saying they're sick all the time so that she can get attention and sympathy and all this. Yeah, need to be needed. Through her of. daughter, right. Interesting. Devastating. And the daughter, I'm assuming, thought she was sick with all these things. Yes. Yeah. So, um, due to DD, due DD. to DD's <laughs> actions, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, oh, shit. Um, Gypsy, she had like an insane amount of medications that she was being fed with, um, that she was being fed by, fed with by her mother. Yeah, wow. Sure. What kind uh, of medicine? Um, she, there's a photo of her, it was so many, there's a photo of her medicine cabinet I can send to you. Like how serious of meds are we talking about? Like very serious medicine. Holy shit, that's bananas. Let me send this to you. That's some twisted ass shit. Yeah. So how did the mom get the medicine? So they would go to a bunch of different doctors and she had nurses training. And so she would be able to accurately describe their symptoms and like as more info has come out gypsy has said that like when they when she was able to advocate for herself she would hold gypsy's hand in the doctor's office so if gypsy ever said anything wrong she would like squeeze her hand oh. and there was one specific doctor who even said in their notes like i think this might be munchausen by proxy and she would just pick up and leave and go Whoa. to a new doctor Interesting. also they were they were hit by katrina so that was also like lucky for them that they lost doctor's records Oh, mm-hmm. so this was documented, but it kind of got refreshed mm-hmm. after the, the flooding. Here, I so this Gypsy was gradually uh, understanding that she wasn't actually sick. As Gypsy got older, she was like aware of the fact that she could get up out of her wheelchair and like shit like that. But as she was growing up, she was just told you're sick, you're sure. sick, you're yeah. sick. And of course you would believe it as a yeah. child. No. It's your mom. Yeah. Here. Oh, this was, did Brian Kavanaugh buy this? Oh, yeah, folks. So, um, she, so 
she wasn't even sick and she went through multiple surgeries, including she had procedures on her eyes. She had a removal of her salivary glands and gypsies, what? yeah. And Gypsy's Jeez. teeth all rotted, and a lot of people speculate it's because of all of the medication she was taking. And in the act, it showed a scene where Dee Dee pulled out all of Gypsy's teeth. She pulled back? She pulled her teeth out because oh, they were rotted. she pulled them out. Yeah. Is that, that's not just from not brushing kind mm. of thing? Medicine makes your teeth fall out? Yeah, a lot of medicine does that. What? <laughs> what medicine makes your teeth fall out? I don't know. I've heard of it a bunch of times. What kind of medicine does that? I'm just curious. Um, medications can cause gum problems such as inflammation, bleeding, or ulcers. Um, yeah, leading to gum disease. What kind of what kind of medicine? Like what class of medicine? Um, the oh, someone said the salivary salivary glands being removed would rot her teeth out. Mm. Man, this is one twisted lady. All right, so Ryan Kavanaugh enters the picture. Yes, so a gift from Habitat for Humanity. This was in 2008. Uh, Gypsy and Dee Dee, they moved from Missouri, uh, or no, they moved from Louisiana to Missouri because of Katrina. Um, Habitat for Humanity built them a house. Um, it was painted pink. It had a wheelchair ramp for Gypsy. There was this like famous photo op of all of the builders outside the house with them. Um, yeah, so, they, they also received benefits that included like charity-sponsored Disney trips and stuff like that too so she was always on the lookout for like the the uh, charity organizations yeah. so how did they get picked f to get a house from habitat for humanity how does that work that i actually don't know i know that they claim to have lost their house in katrina and they had received help but okay so generous uh wholesome people yeah so Gypsy's first attempt at running away, she was actually 19 years old. Yeah, you can watch it if you want to. First time I ran away from home, I had met a friend. We both went to this sci-fi fantasy convention called Vision Con. I had told him vaguely about what was going on at home. He told me, you know, um, you just pack your stuff and um, you can come live with me in Arkansas. And he said, okay. I snuck out, got a ride from a stranger, and went over to his place. And then within like four hours, my mom found me at his place because we had mutual friends in common. So she was starting to call the cops on him. And she took me back home and smashed my computer with a hammer, smashed my cell phone with a hammer and said, if you ever try to do that again, I'm going to smash your fingers with a hammer. It was a rough year. I call that the bad times. So her life at home mm. sounds like her mom was not just crazy, uh, crazy, I don't like that word, not just... Um, Absolutely batshit, psychotically insane. Right, no, right. I'm kidding. Uh, but also abusive, like, yes. and, and very mean. Incredibly. Mm. Yeah, so um, when she tried to run away with that guy who she met at the convention, after she found Gypsy, she chained her to her bed for two weeks. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's some, like, Rose. That's horrible. Yeah. What's her name? The I don't know. A passenger name. shit. Oh, Fra Ruby Frankie. Yeah. Um, yeah, and she was 19 at the time, Gypsy was, but Dee Dee oh. would lie to her about her age, and she convinced even the man, too, that she was underage. Dee Dee. So what, what did she, how old did she think she was? Well, so she, as Gypsy got older, that's when Dee Dee would, like, start making her seem younger than she was. So it would, it would, like, change. I don't know how old she told the guy that she actually was, but she said, you cannot run away with this girl, she's underage. And she was 19. Wow, okay. Mm-hmm. So here, who's this hunk? Okay, so this is Nicholas Godijohn. Goaded. Goaded John. Um, no, he's actually a horrible guy. He met Gypsy online on a Christian dating site, which is <laughs> after she got a hold of a computer again. She made actually five secret Facebook accounts because Dee Dee would be on her so intensely, just God, monitoring everything. But she wasn't, she didn't catch this, where um, she started talking to... Nicholas Godadon, they had an online relationship. They started to explore his various sexual kinks. Um, in some online photos, she would like dress in costume based on, he 
self-described had different personalities so he had her create like pairing sexual personalities to match his that's so interesting growing up with a mom who's so mentally ill mm -hmm. pro made probably made this guy somewhat palatable like anyone else would be like that this guy's something's not right but she's probably like yeah this is normal shit yeah she's used to all this stuff so these are all photos she took for him, like yes. cosplaying and stuff? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is their first time meeting. <laughs> is they, they had been discussing, talking online, how they were going to finally meet each other. And they decided that they were going to both see Cinderella, the live action one that came out. Gypsy went with her mother. And Nicholas went by himself. There were barely any people in the movie theater, Gypsy said. And Dee Dee, they assumed that they would just meet there and then like Dee Dee would love him and everything would be okay. That's not what happened, obviously. She was like, who's this adult man seeing Cinderella by himself? This weird. So she didn't like him at all. Gypsy, that made her upset. And then um, they met She's up. She's not wrong. I, I agree. <laughs> Dee Dee was right about one thing. Um, yeah. Stay away from Nicholas. Um, but so, during, so wait, he met them there? Yes. And they sat together or apart? No, they didn't sit together, but they met up during the movie and they had sex in the bathroom. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. I want to fuck this bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Not now. <laughs> Crazy. Now is not the Not time. now, we're dude. Trying to be, we're trying to, we're trying I to thought we hung up on Phidias. With seriousness. Right. We gotta hang up on him. So they, they had sex in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Wow. And mom didn't notice. Mama was watching Cinderella. Good movie. Captivating. Great, great film. Clearly. Lily James. So, um, if you're interested, there's a YouTube video of like every text that they sent weeks leading up to the murder um but basically through their texting and everything she told him about her mom and the fact that she could walk and she ended up saying like will you protect me from anybody he said yes she said my mother and he said yes and that's how the plan came to be so her, it was her idea he had like. the like the homicidal ideations she wanted to get away that's okay so, but she says, will you protect me against my mom? She claims she didn't mean kill. Well. What did she mean by that? I think she meant any way possible. And I think she, in interviews, she regrets the choice. And she knows that she was liable in it. Uh, I'm, these texts are like, I put it on times two speed. It's not even, it's weird. It's not changing. Okay. So they're texting, they're planning. Yes. We're going to kill mom. Yeah. So, um, the murder happens. I, what happened was he went into the house. She let him in. She went and hid in the bathroom. She was in fetal position. She was covering her ears and he stabbed Dee Dee to death. And then after the murder happened, um, Gypsy went on her mother's Facebook and she claims it's because she wanted people to find the body, but she posted that bitch is dead. That's really like, that's a poor criminal ship. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Like in terms of committing murder, I would recommend probably not to post to the dead person's right. in, uh, Facebook, especially yeah. while you're on the crime scene. Agreed. They made a few other errors. For example, they mailed Minor themselves. Errors. Yeah. They mailed themselves the knife, the bloody knife. They, they mailed, mailed it to it? Nicholas's house. Yes. Why not carry it? Yeah, right? Or they just thought it'd be easier, dispose maybe. dispose of it? Yeah, and they kept all their bloody clothes. <laughs> they, they didn't really think too much about it, but we'll get to it. Are, so, is there more details about the, how this all came out? About how the murder came yeah, out? Yeah, I'm just like, so they're planning it, and then they come to the house. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is the plan to stab her? Yes. Okay. Gypsy stole a, a knife from Walmart. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And so, where is she? Where is she hiding in the house? In the bathroom. And how close is the bathroom to the bedroom? She said that she could hear her mom. Okay. Well, that's pretty fucking disturbing. Yeah. And um, I have a a clip of her recounting it. If you want to watch it, I do. Yeah. Here, let me grab it. Absolutely, I do. And so her 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 boyfriend, who let's be honest, is very committed to her. Mm -hmm. If you go to, he's, he's he's a committed dude. It's on the. Next you got to respect actually. that about him. 
stand-up well, guy. He has a, a multiple personalities. One of them is like his evil side. Mm -hmm. And so when they, when they would like chat online, um, it would be his evil side that she was talking to. <laughs> Who was the nice side? Did, we ever, did you ever meet him? Yeah, she, she talked to both, but like when they would, like the BDSM stuff, she also had like a alter ego too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, like all those photos of her in the wigs and stuff. Wasn't he like, he didn't describe himself as like a vampire, or something like that? I think so, yeah. But he also has a, a criminal past. He was um, arrested for watching, can you say that porn? Can you? Yeah, you can say that. Okay, <laughs> for watching porn at a McDonald's for nine hours. What? Yeah. Nine hours? Nine it hours? It took nine himself. hours yeah. to get rid of him? Jerking it for nine hours. I used to watch How do you, murder Wait, hold on. How do you jerk off in public for nine hours and not get stopped soon? Right. How do they time that? It's a hell of a tug. Well, maybe they caught him near the end, and then they went back and looked at the security footage and realized he mm. had been there for nine hours. So this dude is not... He's, He's not news. okay. He's bad news. Do you think he would have killed... He would have been a murderer if even without the Gypsy Rose connection. I mean, obviously, I don't, I don't know a lot, but I think that he had certainly homicidal tendencies. Okay, sounds like probably. And he then, had a record, didn't he? Before this, yeah, we just said that oh. he got caught masturbating for nine hours at McDonald's. Oh, I, okay. I, I thought but that besides was besides that. <laughs> so I, I think you would get a record for that, right? Yeah. That is, yeah, that's a, depends that's on McDonald's. It's impressive. <laughs> Depends on where and which McDonald's. Right. So is there, I heard that there was something he wanted to do with the corpse. Is that something you're going to touch on here? Um, I can talk about it. I, it. I didn't put it in, but he told Gypsy that he wanted to sexually violate the dead body. Ugh. And Gypsy told him no. She put her foot down. She said she no. She drew the line. Do that to me instead. And that's what took place after the murder. So they had sex. Yes, and Gypsy says that it was not consensual. Jesus. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect romance. Horrible. It's a real Cinderella story. <laughs> yeah. Right. If you go to the second post or the second post murder slide, the link in there is her recounting the murder. Uh, so at, I heard he's autistic, Lena. You know a lot mm -hmm. about this, Lena. I do. Nice. Feel free to supplement. Okay. So he would have been a fan of the show then, I probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fifty percent chance. Yeah, fifty fifty. <laughs> and Gypsy also has stated since that she was at the time um addicted to painkillers. So she was on painkillers. Oh wow. Okay, so uh, let's go. Yeah. Um you had to clean up after your body's murder. You did that voluntarily, correct? Yes. He didn't make you? No. What were you doing while your mother was being killed? I was sitting in the bathroom, on the bathroom floor with my hands covering my ears. And how did you know when it was over? It was a code that we settled on to use. Did you settle on this code together? Yes. What was the code? I believe it was <coughs> three knocks and two scratches on the door. Why did you need a code? To let me know when to come out of the bathroom. Did you have any concerns about what might happen? Yes. What concerns did you have? I was afraid that my mother would end up hurting him. Oh my God. Now... Her mom was a fighter. She thought she, her mom might win. Damn. This knife, why did you buy the knife at Walmart? I did not buy it. I stole I, it. I apologize. Uh, why I, I, I apologize. Sorry. I appreciate her honesty. Right? She's being honest. Yeah. Do we like that? Yes. That's a dub, well, right? Probably. It's good. She's under oath, so. She has a probably murder. pretty good. She doesn't care about oath. Well, I mean, <laughs> oath. Ryan Kavanaugh was under oath when he said that. What was it he said under oath? Hmm. I don't know. Remember, baby? Uh, yeah, let's. He said something. So he said something under oath. Yeah, yeah. 
Maybe listen to his podcast failure. He may talk. Is it out yet? I'll probably go. Uh, I I think the first guest was actually uh, someone called Jake Doolittle. I don't see that it's out. Cav Cav is gonna like give Jake an exclusive. <laughs> I tried uh, to find deal. it in the top, the top result when you Google it is our website, <laughs> <laughs> our our article about it. Yes. Well, he didn't even put out his episode yet. <laughs> Failure, Ryan. Uh, he still got. He failed to launch his podcast. I yeah. mean, it's on brand. For yeah. Him, it's, so, the first two are our website actually. That's good. <laughs> yeah, That's it's brand. not out yet. <laughs> There's only the four teasers. Drop it, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Don't tease me. Maybe he'll change the name. Cause... The fourth one is our subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're <laughs> occupying the top three. The three of spot. the top five. Nice. It's helpful information, so it makes sense. It's Google not loading us. when I click it. Um, also, it's not loading the... Oh, that's interesting. Yo, I think I know why. Okay. Yeah. We need to be a webmaster on that. I'll address that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Glad we looked that up. Yeah. Thank goodness. How about that? Um, I, he asked me to. And what was what was your understanding was going to happen to that knife with that knife? He was going to use it to kill my mother. And you knew that when you went and stole it, correct? Yes. Now, there's been some discussion of some of these fantasies you had. <clears throat> these were all fantasies that the two of you had, correct? Yes, sir. Collectively? Yes, sir. Uh, you guys did this with some regularity, correct? Yes. Did and what? you willingly agreed to make these videos. Wait, he, he's referring to what? He says you guys did this regularly. These fantasies, you said. Mm. Mm. Yes. And you also yourself wrote some letters, some stories to them all set, am I correct? Yes. Wrote for him? Yes. And this uh, reference to this agreement that you're going to be master slave, that was something you guys did yeah. together? I'm going to object. This whole line of questioning has been leading. Sustained, dude. I'm, it's, I'm interested, brother. <laughs> or overruled? Is overruled the one to Overruled would be a rejection, yeah. Sustained, I think, means... They keep going. Uh, oh, right, yeah. Yes. Sustained means keep going. Yeah, sustained. We love sustained. Sustain, your honor. Oh, look what you've done. God Pause damn it, it, YouTube. And this is the defendant's witness. The rules are very clear on that. It, it is a... It is our witness, Judge. I'll be glad to rephrase the question. Thank you. So, okay. Uh, who's, whose idea was it to have this master slave thing? It was Nick's. And did you go along with it willingly? Yes. Did you have a problem with it? I didn't particularly like it, but I went along with it. Now, you talked a little bit about this uh, situation at uh, the Cinderella movie. And I think you testified on... I think I got yeah. the part that you wanted me to hear. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. So I bet this whole thing is a good listen. You know. Yeah, there's a lot of footage. So what is this home? So yeah. Um, this video, sadly, I can't play because the only versions I could find got claimed. But um, they did like a very short vlog in the motel after the murders, where they're just like very giggly, and they're talking to each other. And um, after that, they went back to his home in Wisconsin, and they were found by police. And it was caught easy. immediately. Yeah, and it was easy for them to arrest them because they had the murder <laughs> weapon and they were close. <laughs> awesome. Was it like a YouTube vlog? Was it, was it I mean, she was holding the camera, and she's like, "Hi, honey, I'm filming you. You're eating a brownie." What up, invaders? Chris here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smack that like button. Um, so Bro needs some fucking chapstick. Yeah. <laughs> Hook, he needs some nipple cream. This, these prisons are inhumane, man. He needs some nipple cream. <laughs> Gypsy pleaded guilty to second degree murder and she was sentenced to 10 years in prison. She ended up serving eight and Nicholas was, sen was sentenced to life. And he's still serving us. What's the deal with wanting to have coitus with the body? That's personally, I don't what do you mean, what's connect. The deal? <laughs> well, like, where did that? Wait, that's, that's like not a normal. Yeah, necrophilia is normal yeah, by no. comparison. Uh, yeah, I think I think 
I'm starting to suspect there's something wrong with, with this kid. Lena, do you have yeah. any yeah. details about like Murder the deal porn. with that? Well, what do you mean by what's the deal? Well, I don't know. Like, dude, th- I, this guy is fucking bananas. Like, yeah. I wanted to know a little bit more about him, I guess. Okay. Like where where that came from that he's into necrophilia? Well, like how did she? So she said no, do it to me. But then like. Did she ask any follow-up questions? There are, there are uh, videos. Sounds like you're kink-shaming, Ethan. I, I, it's, also, it's not a new thing, though. Yeah. I mean, there are other killers in the past have done the same. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it's part of the, the sort of serial killer. It's normal uh, for those two things to get paired yeah, up? I, yeah. Well, I, normal, I know the nice as far as it's normal at all, I guess. But, like, I think it, it happens. Ed Kemper from Santa Cruz, he did that after killing his mom. Um, oh, And God. then he severed her head and then had sex with her head. What's even crazier? Ugh. What's oh crazier is he's God. the next most famous person on Famous Birthdays. Like Kepler? <laughs> next to you. Wait, you're from Santa Cruz, right? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure my joke makes sense. Yeah. No, I'm not from Santa <laughs> Cruz. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't born there. <laughs> this is what I'm sending you right now is a video of his interview with police where they ask him about that specifically. Good, that's what I want. That's a link? Okay, great. Yeah. Tell me more about you, Nick. You're so interesting. Murder porn. <laughs> Did Gypsy ever come out and see her mom? Uh, I wouldn't let her. You wouldn't let her go in there and see her? I didn't want her to be traumatized. Okay. Uh, He's thoughtful. He's thoughtful. Kind. He does, I think he cares We're about gonna her. We're going to Um... Did you have sex with D? No. You didn't stick your penis anywhere on her? Nope. Are you sure? Yep. Positive? I'm 100% positive. Okay. Uh, did you stick your penis in her mouth? Nope. Okay. Did your penis touch anywhere on D's body? Nope. Okay. Did your mouth touch anywhere on D's body? My mouth? No. Okay. You didn't kiss her? Or nope. Lick her or anything like that? Nope. Okay. Um, did. Did Gypsy come in and do anything like that with her mom? No. Touch her mom's privates? Or... No, she wouldn't do that. Okay. No, she wouldn't. Okay. Um, all right. What do you think about people that have sex with dead bodies? It's quite disturbing, honestly. Okay. That's just, that would bother you? Yeah. Okay. I don't like necrophilia. Okay. Oh, that, so is that an actual... Just wait. He's... Oh. oh. He's just... He's... I believe him. <laughs> At this point, he's very credible. Yeah. Think? What does that mean, necrophilia? Necrophilia actually means they have sex with the dead. Okay. Have you ever known anybody to do that? No, I only know the word because uh, I tend to look up words that seem to be popular in today's culture. Dude, you just got caught. <laughs> necrophilia is not in the trending <laughs> words of 2022 I mean, or whatever. That's true. That is not top no. of the list. <laughs> You're right. The explanation is the problem there, because it's like, I mean, it's not unusual to know what necrophilia is, but his answer makes it seem like that dude is definitely <laughs> necrophilia. Did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. So, um, <laughs> you you stabbed me in the bed, and Gypsy's in the bathroom, and so what happens after you're done stabbing? D. I, uh, knocked on the door and I also scratched on the door <coughs> twice to let her know that was me instead of her mom. Oh, so is that a code you guys came up yeah. with? Okay, so what was the code again? It was t- three knocks and then two scratches. Okay, three knocks, two scratches. And yeah. then that was so that way she would know in the bathroom. That, it was, that was so Gypsy would know that it was you and not her mom. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and did you guys plan that out before? Uh, we... Like I said, we went back and forth between more than one idea, but that would end up being the one that we stick with. Okay, okay. Um, so, um, after that happens, after you do the three knocks and the two scratches, does she open the door? Uh, not right away. Okay, what happens? She wanted to save uh, her private part. What? What? He's not. I don't know if he's being honest. That's like a real... Okay. Okay. That actually makes more sense than... Than that, what he's saying. Okay. And uh, her legs. Okay. She wanted to shave her private part in her legs? Yes. For me. Okay. Um, 
The Did other? She, has she ever done that before? Is this something new? Um, uh, usually her mom does not let her shave her legs. Okay. So her mom doesn't let her shave her legs? Yeah. Does her mom let her shave her privates? Her... Uh, her mom never seemed to care about that before. Okay. So, yeah. So how did you know she wanted to do that for you? Um, uh, because, uh, she, uh, well, she did it. Okay. That's how it's kind of... So does she... Gypsy says this didn't happen? Gypsy she says that the sex that they had was not consensual. Right. What did you do while she's shaving her legs and stuff? I waited for her. Okay. And then she gets out of the bathroom. It's her legs shaved and everything's yes. shaved. And then yeah. what happens? And then, uh... He also, like, wanted her to have pink nail polish on by the time the murder was over. It was just like... So she was doing weird stuff in the bathroom. She's painting her nails? Or she had them painted for post-murder. He just told her he wanted her nails pink. This is some twisted-ass crazy shit, dude. This is nutty, man. I know. Stranger than fiction. You couldn't even dream of this shit. We uh, said to clean up uh, the ground and everything around. Okay. Clean uh, up? What are you cleaning in the house? Uh, yes. You're like vacuuming and dusting and stuff like that? Uh, cleaning up the, such as uh, anything that has memories of her. That's actually what we were doing. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Like anything that had. Uh, uh, Does he get to the I mean, the necrophilia? Took... Oh no, that was the, okay. her questioning him okay. about it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Horrendous. Would you want to grab a beer with him or no? Voice. Probably, probably pass. Okay, they always ask that, that question about like the president, you know. We drank yeah. beer. He's the kind of guy you want to grab a you beer. You want to go get a beer with? They like beer, sir. And at the bar. So the story, which is incredible, got the attention of many. Mommy, how did I, mean, I watch everything? How did I never see this? Mommy dead and dearest. Mm. That's got to be good, right? This is like a docu series. Mommy Dead and Dearest is a docu-series, and it's actually what Gypsy's now husband watched and is what forced, or like made him want to write a letter to her in prison. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I've got to watch this. Yeah, so their story was dramatized in the Hulu show, The Act, which starred Joey King. Now, she had to get paid for this, right? What, Gypsy? Yeah. It's her story. It's her likeness. She should. I don't know about mommy dead and dearest, but she did say the act she didn't get paid for. It. Good. How? Oh, mm -hmm. oh Wait, did not. No, she, she did didn't not. Get it. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. She needs to lawyer up because mm -hmm. that does not make any sense. But they paid her for mommy dead and dearest. I'm not sure about that one. She. This I one I wouldn't comment. expect her to get paid for because it's like a documentary. But this one's mm -hmm. a damn TV show, mm -hmm. monetized. Hmm. That seems. Listen, I know she's a murderer and all this stuff, but what H, but what Hulu did is not right. Yeah, Joey King speaks about it too. She says that they never let her go see Gypsy in prison because mm. she kind of wanted to get to know her better um, so she can uh, play the role, and they never let her. And now looking back after Gypsy spoke about it and said she didn't get paid, um, Joey was saying like she, she kind of gets it now. Maybe that's why they didn't want her seeing her. I hope mm. she's lawyering up. Huh. Same. You know what Gypsy needs? Let's Tons go. of money and freedom. You know, Gypsy wants Millie Bobby Brown to play her. Oh, yeah, I saw that. From Stranger <laughs> Things. Play her in what? If hmm. there's an autobiography about her life, she said she wants Millie Bobby Brown to play, uh, play her. When we already got the documentary and the series. I mean, how I many? So I'm wondering, maybe we didn't like, we didn't like Joey's interpretation. A little oversaturated in the yeah, market. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. All right, so, and now we have... Arrived Someone says you now. can't profit off it when you're guilty. That. I don't think that's oh, true. Wait, isn't that like related to the OJ? I mean, I looked into it now, but about you know what people I mean? are the saying. The OJ book, how he wasn't allowed to profit off the book. Off a oh. crime? I forget what it is. Let me look into it. Okay. The law Thanks. is you can't profit from your crimes. Okay. So only Hulu can. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Then. <laughs> Then they did a heist on her. I mean, that's that's nuts. See, that seems weird though, because the show is not just about the murder. It's her okay. whole life, sto like story. Right. So, so we, 
That feels like right, that's not a, the scope did, of that is more expansive true. than the thing that she's guilty. Not for. everything in that show she did was illegal. Right. So that seems odd. Yeah, I'm we need a lawyer. Something we need, called uh, "Son of Sam" laws prohibit criminals from profiting from writings or shows about their crimes. However, courts have frequently struck down these laws on First Amendment grounds. Yeah, seems. I think she got weird. a compelling case. Yeah. We got to get P and P in the middle. <laughs> we got to get them on this. Let's go. Let's I'm sure. Go. I'm sure. I'm not the first person to think about that. I'm yeah, sure probably not. Here's there's my lawyers. client. He was in McDonald's for nine hours. <laughs> my wonderful <laughs> client was fully exposed masturbating in McDonald's for nine <laughs> hours. There was families, women, children, you name it. Well, I'm happy to say that my client was charged for uh, a sex crime, indecent exposure to a silly willy, which is a misdemeanor in the state of uh, California. The police did not do their due process. There was no semen in the McDonald's. <laughs> the cops did a horrible job cleaning up the situation. There was semen found on the floor, but they could not prove that it was his <laughs> because there was other semen mixed in with it. <laughs> PMP's got it. Okay, so what is this? She's on Instagram. Right, She's yes, living so life. That's the end of the case case. Please watch her Lifetime docuseries if you want to know more. So much information. Now our girl is free. This is her first Instagram selfie. She posted, first selfie of freedom. Does she have a lot of followers? Yeah, she 6. does. 6.5 million likes. Yeah, let's see how many she has now. Wow. Followers. Wait, cool. Oh my God. How does it be? What, how I long? guess because of the shows. That's yeah. why yeah. people were like so primed for this because I gotta be honest, I had never heard of this person until like a week ago. So I was I'm learning most show. of the story today too. Yeah, she has 8.1 million followers on Instagram. My Damn, 8.1 million. How long I'm before she gets like a croc deal or something? That's crazy. I'm one of them. What? In Got a little hell? knife giblet on there. Killer she's gonna, she's gonna get a croc with like um <laughs> an IV drip giblet and like a knife, bloody knife. <laughs> yeah, some gloves, you know. I guess I'm just totally Bloody out of the <laughs> loop on the on the gypsy loop. I don't know. Oh, she's about to be well, like. Well, you're in on it now. I'm in on the loop yeah. now. This is one of the strangest e celebrity situations of all time, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. for real. 2024. It's the year of gypsy and uh, Stanley Cups. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta admit, when I started hearing her name like two weeks ago, the n gypsy rose. It just sounds like it's like a. It's a fake it's name. A, well, like a, it's like a TikTok handle or something. <laughs> right. It's like, uh, oh, Gypsy Rose and Addison Ray and, you know, uh, the D'Amelios. Is she more... on TikTok? <laughs> yeah, she's on Girl. TikTok. <laughs> there you go. What does she post there? She Can posted, you link me? yeah. Does she dance? I haven't she seen her the dance. Dances. Oh my god, 9.6 million followers. Queen. Of course, TikTok would be flooding to her. Right. TikTok is the most degenerate people. The people, <laughs> like the general audience of TikTok is mad. I haven't been on there in a minute. Instagram Reels is. Dude, TikTok yeah. is. Ass. It's basically unusable. I used to enjoy this, this um, platform, but. It's been so monetized. It's unusable. Yeah. Like every other video is an ad, and if it's not an ad, it's like a eligible for commission with the shop. It's like every fucking video. Yeah, I tried to use it yesterday when I was doing research, and I had to have Lena help me because when I went into it, it was just the shop. I couldn't sh uh, search a hashtag. Oh, yeah, they put you in the shop. Yeah. I feel like, what are they doing? They're trying to make money as much as possible before they get banned in the USA? Uh, Maybe. Sort of. I, Keep I, holding on, uh, Ryan. Triller's going to be sure he's going to make it for sure. I think it's sort of a long-term plan that they had because the way that they were able to exchange like advertising, like free advertising for clout, basically, from these big creators. I mean, before they were being paid for them, just the trends. Creators were doing it for free, so I felt like they always planned on incorporating a shop. They've got to be having crazy revenue right now. All right, so let's see. This one has $34 million. So um, my TikTok was just hacked. Um, we have a system. It's a crazy world out here, Gypsy. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta. She probably doesn't know about two-step two -step verification. Two-step authentication. Right. Yeah, it doesn't wasn't know that yet. popular when she went in. The claim. No. We'll let her know. I don't know who it could be, but um, we changed the password now. Um, so 
I'm back in control of the account right now. Mm -hmm. We're working with TikTok to get the username and the profile picture back to so where she it has was. Like, she has management now. Sounds like it. She's like, like we're. She's got people. I can't even get. A I can't team. find anyone to talk to at TikTok. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Gypsy Rose has got the main line in. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if Austin McBroom reached out. You got management. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about the random DM, but do you have a? <laughs> are you managed on OF yet? True. So don't freak out just yet. I am back in control. Um, so shame on y'all. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so anyway, uh, nobody. This guy's bad news. I know. Hey. <laughs> Why do we think that? Like, Why do you not think that? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Freak out. It's still me. Um, so just bear with me. Well, I don't know. I don't know any details about the romance. I mean, I know the only what they've put out in the past few weeks. So I also don't know much. Well, dude, first of all, I'm not saying that nobody would love her. That's not what no, I'm saying. No, obviously not. She's, she seems like a really nice. She's pretty. She's sweet. Resilient. Resilient. She's strong. She don't. Well, she. Well, she did need a man in the case of murdering her. I was going to say she don't need a man, but historically, she has needed a man. Or. <laughs> Jesus I don't Christ, know. Dude. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong, right? <laughs> anyway, um, but you know what I mean. <laughs> my my feeling is that if you watch this story and your reaction is I want to date her. <laughs> it's a little troubling. You got a lot of letters in prison, I actually. Ryan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, yeah most. she had lots of like love lots. letters. Mm -hmm. She only liked him because he was from Louisiana. Wait, she's dating Michael Moore? <laughs> the documentarian? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, they met. They're making uh, God damn it. his new documentary. I loved his work outside Trump Tower. Bowling for Gypsy Rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it looks just like him. I was thinking more Peter Griffin, but hey, man, fuck it. Yeah, I see yeah, in between. Oh, wow. Oh, very Peter Griffin, well, actually. Here's the other thing that I'm telling you I got the warning sign on. He's trying to get in her videos. Right. Mm. He wants, he likes the attention. That's, I have seen people talking about that. That's like, he goes, you know, he's trying to get in her TikTok. Here they are. They're making videos together already. I mean. And she, when did she get out of jail? She served her time. Like two no, weeks when? ago. Like two weeks December ago. December 29th. <laughs> Like, About a yeah, week ago. just right now, like literally just right now. And like everyone is just, again, I just feel so out of the loop with this. Like everyone was like queued up. Everybody's wa waiting for this moment. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I, I guess, again, because of the, I, that show was super popular, I guess, the, the one that was based the on act, her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. God, the media landscape is just so fractured now, like mm -hmm. with everybody on their own show. Like, I've never heard of any of this before. And this girl is out of jail yeah, this... for two weeks. She has 9 million followers on TikTok. It's just mm -hmm. crazy. Well, crazy. they were... They it's were... like she was on Euphoria or something. They, they were <laughs> right. gearing up her social media, I believe, before her release. They were, they were yeah. getting ready. She has a book and a new Lifetime doc. I'd so love to know. she was prepared to, to tell her story when she... God, I'd love to know who's her manager and shit. Like, these fucking psychos that snuck into her life. Right. Yeah. There's some Weasley motherfuckers. It's got to be the Weasley yeah. motherfuckers that are on her, on her team. <laughs> like Suge sure. Knight. Suge Knight's her manager. <laughs> Isn't he in prison? Uh, yeah, he is. That doesn't mean he can't. No, he's chilling. So, yeah. It, yeah. He has All a right. son, too. That's Listen, all. he has his ways. He got uh, easy out of a contract. He, he Someone said, ways. did they talk about the grandpa? What's that about? Oh, she was abused sexually by her grandpa when she was a child. All right. Excellent yeah. detail. More, yeah. more a lot of horrible things on. happened. Is yeah. there something else we missed about the grandpa? Yeah. It's I horrible. Was, I was looking to see if she had a manager, and the first article says, Strip Club offers Gypsy Rose a job after her release from prison. Jeez. That's crazy. I did see that, too. That was fucked up. No, it she's... Was, if she, hopefully, doesn't have absolutely the worst, like, bad faith, evil manager, she's going to be very wealthy very soon. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this guy's like. Let me get a feel on him. Ryan, let's play a newlywed game. Sounds good, but, you know, we're not really newlyweds. Let's call it the newly together game. Okay, I like that. Awesome. I like that. What is Gypsy's nickname for Ryan? What is Gypsy's nickname for Ryan? Cuddle Muffin. <laughs> cuddle Muffin. That's sweet. It is sweet. He is a Cuddle Muffin. 
Maybe he's a good guy after all. <laughs> that's <laughs> that is yeah, my nickname. You're sold. He looks perfect. Oh, his nickname's <laughs> Cuddle Muffin? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a kind, he's a bright yeah, yeah. golden guy. soul. He's probably better than last guy. <laughs> Snuggles. Snuggles. <laughs> it does seem like an improvement over the previous <laughs> gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Has this guy ever masturbated for nine hours? Oh, sh this is a huge step up. <laughs> or, well, they, well. <laughs> in public or otherwise. Mm. Hey, that's good Just stamina, in brother. General. As far as we can tell, this is a huge step up. But time will tell, certainly. Did we get it right? No! no, no, no. Mm, I changed my mind. Back to square one. Appreciate the audio quality here, Lifetime. You got this really nice scoop. Sounds great. Sounds like it was filmed on a Nokia phone. <laughs> what, what's the question? Nice. Alright, I'm, I'm out on this. I have stuff weird. about him. You know stuff about him? I have more stuff. Oh, let's go then. So let's she posted go. this, Sister Love with her sissy. If you go. There we go. Next one. That's her one. sister? Yes, that's her father's daughter. What's the deal with her dad? Yeah. So, okay, so the deal with her dad is uh, Dee Dee, like, told her dad that Gypsy was really ill. And then as they started, like, quest, they weren't together when Gypsy was born. They'd already broken up. And um, as the family, his, the father's family started questioning like whether or not she needed these treatments, they moved away. What? So, so they were like, yo, what's the deal? They s sensed something was wrong? Yeah, Dee Dee pulled Gypsy oh, from her Oh, they moved father. away. Yes. I see. And they're like, well, all right. I guess that solved that problem. He's in her life now. And he wanted to be earlier too, but like Olivia said, after they moved away and he after questioning like her medical conditions, he didn't want to push it too much because he feared that Dee Dee wouldn't let him see um, Gypsy at all anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope she has a nice, uh, loving father. That would be a nice... He seems to... Yeah. He seems well-adjusted. Nice. Wow. Oh, God. So this is Ryan Anderson. This is her new husband. Um, he sent her letters, like we said. Uh, <laughs> she was interested because he was from Louisiana. He reminded her of home. And they look to be very cute. See, but we're not sure yet. This is his Instagram profile. I think that that's adorable. My, My name, name is Ryan, Ryan Anderson. Anderson. I'm from Louisiana. I'm married to the most beautiful, the most wonderful woman in the world, Gypsy Rose. Wait, they are Lanky. married. In that video, he just said they're not married. Guess they are now. No, I think they got married like a couple of years ago. But he's saying like. They were married together. before, but now they're like. Oh, together. he meant it in the other sense. Because they got married that when they're not was... newly wed. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, got well, it. Oh, got they've got been it. married. Yeah, they they've got married been in married. prison. In prison. Got it. Got it. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, also... they got married July twenty first, twenty twenty two. <laughs> okay, all right. Here's the. This is the clip that matters. I've seen <laughs> this one. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Go back. Not go yet. Back. Yeah, yeah. That was after. So she commented on his selfie that he posted and she said ryan don't listen to the haters i love you and you love me we do not owe anyone anything our family is who matters if you get likes and good comments great if you get hate then whatever because they don't matter i love you besides they jealous because you are rocking my world every night yeah i said it the d is fire <laughs> happy wife oh. happy life <laughs> this motherfucker is a serial killer Yo, he wrote that ryan, shit he wrote that man. <laughs> he took her phone he wrote that shit <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Peter obsessed Griffin. with that. I feel like that's something Gypsy would write. I think yeah. she's a queen, and I think she did. I think she wrote that. <laughs> and he I responded. Think it, I, I think the D is probably fire. I agree. If Gypsy said it, Gypsy knows. You know what I mean? Wow. He responded to her, who said I gave a damn about what these jealous people say anyway? Ha ha. Now come get it, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. And then oh, now you no. can watch the clip. That's really intense. Okay, well... Thoughts, Dan? I mean, good for him. Good for him. What can I say? Fifty Shades of Hold on, Ryan. Hey guys, I'm here with Gypsy Rose herself, the celeb of the moment. So I know you have so many followers, so much love on social media. But what I want to know is, what do you have to say to the haters? Um, well, you know, can't bring me down. I'm on a high right now. I'm living my best life, and y'all can't take that from me. And the Z <laughs> is fire. Oh my god.
We are fucked. <laughs> Bye. What is your message to your haters? Well, just saying, I've killed once already. And dick too. Because who are our haters? Like, law enforcement? The ops. The ops. All right. All right. So they're on a press tour. Backdrop says all they ate. Um, the first clip is how she feels about the fame, and then the second clip is just a funny Your new clip found that the social media fame is next level. I don't even comprehend it at this point really? because for me, I'm just another face in the crowd. So when I came out of prison, I didn't expect this giant wave of social media. You know, I'm posting selfies just like the next person would or the next yeah. person, not thinking anything of it. And before I know it, it has two million views. I'm just like. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you've got it's six million a, it's, followers. It's an adjustment. I'd say so. So what was your reaction? I mean, it was just like mind blowing for you, mm -hmm. huh? It's, Looks it's like she got some decent dental work. Mm -hmm. Good dental work. Yeah. Nice. Happy for her. Good for her. She's probably already pretty loaded, right? Because of the book and stuff. You mean it money wise? Yeah. They probably I gave her so. an advance. On the book? I don't well, think no, it's out she, yet. she made a book a long time ago, right? In from Preston? Or am I crazy? Or maybe not. Oh, she, I don't think, so that would be under the law, probably not allowed. If she made her own book? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because okay. you can't profit from your crime. Yeah. If you're publishing your own book, that probably... Mm. Interesting. Oh. An adjustment. Like, I, I didn't have social media for the longest time, so, you know, I'm having fun with the selfies and the Snapchats and all of this. Girl, you're of on stuff. everything. You're on Instagram. <laughs> I'm on Instagram, you're... TikTok, Twitter. I'm on everything. You like, know. we love her, but... When you kind of step back a little bit and like realize that she participated in a heinous murder, although you might say that, I don't know, justify, I mean, you could justify it, sure. I mean, she could have, well, she tried to run away yeah. before. And she was constrained physically. I don't, it's, it's, it's a very, very layered. What do you do yeah. if you're, if you've tried to run away? She calls the police, brings you back. She chains her to the bed. You go to the police. But that might backfire. Mm. If they don't believe you and also, they just take yeah, you back. Yeah, one time I know CPS came and visited the house and uh, Dee Dee convinced them everything was okay. Ah. Huh. And as she became an adult, when she got closer to 18, her mom had a lawyer draft up like a power of attorney documents saying oh, that, uh, yeah, that Gypsy was incap or incompetent. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez. Holy shit. So if she had gone to the cops, they would probably just think she's crazy. So, like, I guess on one hand, you step back, she took place with this really heinous murder. But on the other hand, she kind of had to mur kill her. She does regret <laughs> doing it, though. She says yes. she re regrets it. And the reason why she's doing all of this publicity now is she wants to get her message out. And for others who might be in a similar situation, she wants to just Serve educate as an them. inspiration. And, yeah. yeah, and and let them know that there's other ways, and they don't have to resort. Did she, That's what I was gonna say. Is there, say there were other definitely way? other options, she, but she probably didn't think that there were. What other <laughs> options? Like, I'm just curious. What and what's a good scenario? I, I mean, again, like it's easier said than done, especially when you're in a circumstance like her. But yeah, I mean, probably reporting her mom to the police for but kidnapping. But you know that could like backfire, like so easily. I mean, at this point, she she was an adult, right? <clears throat> yeah, she was 21 during the murder. Did she was they, 21. Did they sign yeah, the power no, she, of attorney? She thing? could just leave. She could just leave. It's easy to say. No, it's that's what I say. that's what I prefaced it with. And she has <laughs> this psychopath that she's dating that mm -hmm. is clearly manipulating her and pressuring her into, uh, you know, wanting to act violently or whatever. But and I mean, um, let's be real. Her mom being dead, not a great loss for humanity. Yeah, her mom seemed like a real piece of shit. Poison. Real bad. Hmm. This but yeah, I mean, there were probably ways out for her that didn't result. Because I mean, ultimately, on what level was it a good idea? She ended. Up, she immediately got caught. They were not competent criminals, and spent the next like half a decade in prison. Right. Well, yeah, I don't know. I I wonder what's what would have been a better outcome if she tried a different way, or if just kill her and you know give get paid the 10 years and then come out a millionaire. It couldn't have That's been That's kind of easy. the best outcome ever. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's, and also in 2007, a doctor diagnosed her with Munchausen by proxy, or at least um, included it in the report, and everyone ignored it. They didn't do anything mm. about it. That's nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's always like that, isn't it? Mm. She tried leaving, it sounds like. Even she had help from this guy. Yeah. Hmm. Mama had to die. She didn't have, uh, Chad's saying she didn't have proper documentation either. Her mom said that her birth oh. certificate was lost in Katrina and a few True. other things. Yeah. What do we think? Let's do a poll. I'm curious. Do we like the murder? Do we love that she killed her mom? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Did we love it? Yes or no? I think it's a W. It's a um, dub? What? Dude, now she's getting, she's getting stacks. Her yep. mom is toast. She's... Here, watch this clip that I'm sending you. Let's do that poll, Dan. Uh, what's the poll? Are we loving that she killed her mom? Slay, <laughs> slay queen. <laughs> I the poll is, are we loving that she oh, killed about, her mom? How about this? How about this? It feels inappropriate. Okay. Well, okay. I'll, I'll bring it down a notch. Should she have killed her mom? Yes. No. Yes. I'm queen. not. I'm not doing that poll. I'm not doing that. Make make one of these. Guys um, do it. I did see. Let a me tweet sign that, 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 I, that feels icky. I saw a tweet that said she's the <laughs> only person who actually served for slaying mother, which I thought was a crazy tweet. I, I just want the record to show that our first episode back, we had a poll that says, uh, "Are you on the spectrum?" And, and then the second episode we have back. That was is, a legitimate question. Hold on, I've got feedback that that was a bad things. poll. I heard that was a bad poll. Because I, apparently, uh, on the spectrum doesn't just refer to autism. It could just mean, like, in general, ne neurodivergent. There's multiple That's spectrum. not how I understood there's it, There's multiple though, spectrums. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're talking I think, about I think I got the, the one spectrum. First poll of 2024, and it's bad, Dan. <laughs> well, of course. All right, let's, write, let's word this respectfully for Dan. Should she have killed her mom? <laughs> that wasn't that. That was what you just suggested. Well, I just didn't say yes and stuff, and like, then we love it and all that. <laughs> I mean, I'm genuinely curious, you know, because if you think through it, it kind of, mm. it kind of makes sense. How Maybe, about did Gypsy do the right thing? Gypsy Rose Victory Royale question mark or L? I'm curious. Uh -huh. Did she do the right thing? Okay. Did Okay. And of course, murder is never the right thing. Of course. We are against murder here at the H3 Podcast, to make you that clear. I mean? And so is Gypsy. OJ, how do you feel about murder? <laughs> Dan's a good man. All right, here we go. Wow. Uh, it's looking like about a 70-30 split wow. in favor. We are loving the Although the nose are murder. The nose are on the rise. I'm closer to... <laughs> this is a wild poll. Two to one it, ratio. It loaded question. Why? No, I think it's it's. Did she do the right thing? I mean, yeah, I think that's fair. Like you know, people are we're riding for murder. We are saying yes to murder. I myself, as the representative of this podcast, have to put my foot down and say no to murder. That is my official stance. Brave. For this show and myself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's kind of crazy though. Sixty-three percent says yes. Does that surprise you? Honestly, we yes. learn more about this audience every day. So <laughs> <laughs> you guys scare me, dude. You guys scare me. No, I mean, to I, be honest, I might, I might vote yes. I, I didn't vote because I didn't have the. You option. seemed like you were leaning yes. Because, like, in when the way you that think you were talking it, about, when it. you think through it, she had tried already okay. multiple ways. To do it non-violently. Yeah. Before you vote, let me think of the potential titles of your haters. Mm -hmm. And I mean, listen, it, you could, it's self-defense. Like, her yeah. mom was doing violence on her on a daily basis oh, with the meds and 100%. stuff. Oh, yeah. 100%. I was of the opinion that it was gray. I was just offering the argument that um, perhaps there were still other options on the table. To say it, that it was the only option, I think, is probably not true. You know, if she just, like, shot her... I bet she might even have not been convicted. She one time picked up a gun and tried to shoot her mom, but it was a BB gun. If it had been a, if it had been a crime Did of passion, did her mom know? She rather than she, she picked up a BB gun. She's like, "I'm gonna kill you now." 
And it was just she shot her mom with a BB. Huh. <laughs> let me get uh, let me get you all the details on that. But I think I think if she just had a gun by herself and killed her, I feel like she would have a very compelling self defense argument. But I think the the planning and the premeditation that yeah, uh, that was a definitely. that was a problem. Yeah. The boyfriend wanted to have sex with the cadavers. You know, that was probably a problem sticky. too. It was when she tried to run away the first time in 2011. Huh. Wow. While Didi went to extreme lengths to keep her daughter closed, Gypsy revealed she had shot her mother 10 times in her aim to escape, but it was with a BB gun. Oh my God. That's a horrible situation. Yes. I think that you could make the argument that Didi was killing Gypsy. Oh, she was? Yeah. Right. I think it's how she did it. Yeah. I think that's the problem. Well, I think we can say the murder we love. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> we can't say that. I don't It'd think be going we a little can, too far. Don't love it necessarily. I mean, murder we, un we, we understand. We support it, Gypsy's freedom. We, with great trepidation and uh, careful analysis, love that she did that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. However, it was the method was real was the problem. It was the method. I feel like one of them was gonna die. True. Fuck that mom. One yeah. of them was gonna die. Yeah. Absolutely. Fuck that mom. <laughs> Absolutely, one of them she was did the die. good thing. And uh, Mommy Dead and Dearest, you hear a lot from the mom's family, and they all describe her as like just this awful person. Mm -hmm. Like none of them even wanted her ashes. They, they ended up it. dumping in the toilet, but they spent. <laughs> Damn! Yeah. What the fuck? No That's for real. Wanted, but they think that she killed her mom. That Gypsy's mom killed her mom. Yeah, Whoa. they think she tried to poison her. Mm -hmm. Well, she they her literally step sent her oh, rest in piss. Mm -hmm. Jesus. They rest real. And pissed her of ashes. That's crazy. So poison the stepmom. Wasn't there something with the grandfather too? Well, oh. well, Gypsy says that she was essayed by her grandpa when oh, okay. she was younger. But her stepmom, um, they claim that she tried to poison her. But also um, that she killed her own mother. She she was crazy. perhaps a serial killer. Oh, is she Michael Corleone? She's taking out the whole well, family? Well, yeah, three. Three <laughs> would make you a serial, serial killer, so she was on her way. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Yeah, so it was just, it was the method. Yeah. If she would have just done like a good assassination, just like a hit, you know what I mean? Clean, one shot. <laughs> well, no, I don't think that that would help. Why? Because that's still premeditated. I think the difference is if it's a crime of passion, if they like, I think the premeditation. She's trying to leave the house, and the mom is like physically stopping her from doing it, and it escalates to a point where she kills her. That would be like an in the moment decision. Whereas if you hired a hitman, or that's no, essentially no, what her. she did. She, not a hitman. She did it. Right. Still, not a hitman. I, it, that would be a, yeah. That would the, be a, the premeditation part. I think is what. At least from a legal perspective. I thought it was the necrophilia stuff. I said from a legal standpoint. <laughs> but that never happened, apparently. Apparently not. Hopefully not. <laughs> Damn. Well. Well, there it is. We're almost. We got like oh, we're one, not actually one or two clips oh, left. Sorry. So sorry. Uh, I have such All a good. dicey joke I want to say. Uh, just bu button in if it's too much. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, and that's not even the worst thing that happened to her body. When her family flushed her ashes, hmm. the necrophilia. But that didn't happen, so the joke doesn't really land. I would have. It wouldn't even have been the worst thing that happened to her body. Right. That's yeah. pretty good. No. <laughs> you didn't like it? No. You no. Like it? <laughs> I, just said, no. I mean, I guess it's true. Getting burned and then into ashes but, and then being dumped in the toilet is pretty bad. But right. But I mean, if it is, is it fun? Is my joke funny? I it's think, not really. I'm sorry. It's not because how often because, do you get to land because it didn't actually happen. I said, if he did it, it wouldn't yeah. have even been the worst thing that happened to her body. So I, it's not that big of a deal. Is my point. Uh, Free okay. gypsy. I see Dan's <laughs> point. If it happened, it would have aligned in a certain way. Yeah, but. dude. How? I, this is the first time in my life I've had the opportunity to do a necrophilia. No, I, I understand the, the need to say that because it. it's a once in a lifetime <laughs> lineup of things, but. If, if it only happened, which I'm glad it didn't, of course. Yes. But, right. Yeah. If it did, though, it wouldn't. It would have been, been a perfect. It would have been a perfect. Wouldn't even have been the worst for thing that hypothetical that didn't happen. But <laughs> <laughs> I think also the fear of what you were going to say kind of took the the humor out of it because I was afraid. 
I'm looking at chat. There seems to be conf great conflict. If Phidias's was a nine, yours was also a nine. <laughs> right. Not, it was a Phidias <laughs> nine. That's not a Phidias <laughs> nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm just having fun with it. Has there been a celebrity or influencer that's followed you that's kind of made you starstruck? Um, I haven't honestly checked my DMs. I am girl. Come I'm on now, flooded. Gypsy. I am so flooded right she now. She really I is loving it though. Kind of let it be. I mean, she seems like pretty well adjusted for mm -hmm. the life that she had, which is as fucked up as you can possibly imagine, pretty much. That is true. Like. Like, she's, like, her, social, her, she's outgoing, right. she seems happy. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Like, where, when when did she learn those social Oh, skills, God, you know? not... Wait, why is she with the Bachelor guy? <laughs> she was on... <laughs> the podcast she went on was Vile Files. What? Nick Viles from, from The Bachelor. He's with... What? I know! He got the exclusive? I know! How? Oh, come on! <laughs> this Maybe guy... Maybe she's a Bachelor fan. <laughs> she was be. her boyfriend on the podcast, too? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. How the fuck did this guy get the exclusive? This is a washed up ex bachelor. And I don't remember his story exactly, but I remember him not even being likable. I liked him. You TDH. Did? He, I remember he was on Andy's season first and he came in second, and then he joined Caitlyn's season halfway through, and people hated him because of that. Because, like, they had never done that before. And then he went on Paradise, and then he was a bachelor. Didn't he have... Okay. All right. Well, good for him. You got the files, baby. All right. Here, Go ahead. Watch the... I just sent you something in Discord. Mm. This is a funny clip with an interviewer. Oh, yeah. I know this one. This is great. I'm loving her Midnight's era right okay. now. I'm loving... Oh wait, no, this isn't the one I was seeing. I, was there, thinking, I have the other one too. Don't okay, you it. Karma has been like my number one on my playlist. Hmm, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> shocking. I am loving her Midnight That's Era it. right okay. now. I'm loving it. Karma has been like my number one on my playlist. Hmm, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesus, the interviewer is out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's... <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> interesting response, by the yeah. way. Yeah. A little judgy. Give her a break. Doing you a favor, lady. Where's the other one? Where? It's, the, it's the final slide. Oh, good. So what is this? Book? Documentary? This is, she, she came out with a book called Released Conversations on the Eve of Freedom, and then over the weekend, her Lifetime series premiered. Oh, she's going to get paid. Yeah. So everybody go watch. Well, hopefully she's not actually a murderer because she's going to have like a lot of resources at her disposal. Like she, she could murder again easily. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope she does oh, oh. not. I see what you're saying. Yeah. She's got a wacky boyfriend. Got a ton of money. I said no pickles. She, she, hates, she hates pickles. Yeah, experience. Okay. <laughs> this clip is fucking awesome. <laughs> In my words that you are not alone in, in, in this, you know, situation. There are other ways out. Um, I did I did it the wrong way. Um, no, so, no, no, no. you know. Don't say that. I, but I did. Yeah, I, 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 I did something <laughs> wrong, and I, I paid my dues for it. Oh, you it. mean that part? Yes, the part of it, oh, yeah. you know, that part of it. <laughs> yeah. Where are you Never going mind. with this? Yeah, no, 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 no. Dude, but we're, we're, but. You know, we're on your side, I yeah. think, actually. Here in the H3 podcast, we, 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 I, we say, don't say that. Don't say that. Why was she glowing purple? She How does look beauty. I I, I, that that must have been the no, TikTok. No, no. Like, <laughs> literally, she's no, like, like super saying. She, no, she's ultra instinct <laughs> serial killer <laughs> right now. Instinct, yeah. In this, hey, you here. know, situation, in my words, that oh. you are not alone in, in, in oh, this, she you know, a stunning situation. Purple there are other yeah. ways out. Um, I did I did it the wrong way. Um, no, no, so, no, no, no. you know. Don't say that. No, no, no. What did she think she was talking about? Well, probably the... The abuse earlier in her life, or something related to that. I like her mind way just out. like skipped over the whole murder part of the story. Mm. And I, I paid my dues for. Oh, you it. mean that part? Yeah, the part of it. Oh, yeah. You know That's that part awesome. of it. <laughs> yeah, so she's like, oh yeah, that part. <laughs> yeah. Where are you Never going mind. with this? Oh yeah, no, it's the no, purple. Murder is wrong. Yeah, yeah, murder is wrong. <laughs> I do want to murder. Ask yeah, the way that this is like a joke, the laughing murder is very wrong, surreal. The stuff. whole like, situation. This is a. This is. This is all a, so much more yeah. than I thought. Again, like 
hearing this person's name over the last couple of weeks. Girl, now you're well informed. Now I, I'm in the loop. Mm -hmm. I'm in the loop. You've been filled in. You've been filled oh, in. Yeah. <sighs> Unlike uh, her mom's <laughs> body. <laughs> no. All right. Should I button that? <laughs> you should button this this episode before enough necrophilia jokes <laughs> before we go way too far here all right so that's all we and that's all i have to say about that all right well thank you olivia thank you for another comprehensive presentation our love to gypsy <laughs> hope she's okay but yes i will say this blanket statement here i'm willing to put murder is wrong Mm -hmm. ne it is never right. You are so brave. Here at the H3 Podcast, we oppose murder in all forms for all reasons. You are so, so brave. Thank you. Uh, uh, I guess that's it, probably. 4.30? How long have we been going? Uh, Going on three and a half. Oh, that's perfect. Nice. That's 3.20 more. So. All right, guys. And no more necrophilia jokes with peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> But I'll, you got to see, it. like, when do you ever get that chance? You know, it doesn't come up very often, Double. thankfully, mercifully. I had to take, yeah, yeah. it's it was okay. worth it. You got to take risks, yeah, in comedy. <laughs> yeah. Com comedians are the last line of defense against the woke mind virus. I had to take the corpse by the horns, as they say. You the take, okay, right, yeah, because this is where where the woke meets the wall. Yeah, the woke meets the wall. <laughs> Imagine me comedy. saying that now after this whole conversation. This is where the woke <laughs> meets the wall. Shut up, bro. It's just a and I am the wall. But like, dude, the people that okay, whatever. I'm not gonna get all yeah. triggered. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully she just you know happily ever after. Straight and narrow from now on. We'll keep our eyes on on that boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Trust him. No, I hope. I hope. No it, more murder. Please, yeah, please, <laughs> peace and <laughs> love. After when did she get out? December uh, 20, 20, 28th morning. After morning. December twenty eighth, no more murder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. I live to like our Instagram photos. For real, <laughs> no, no, I wake up, I like gypsy photo, I go to bed. Avery's say, good joke I'll say, there. I'll say Avery's. I'll say Avery's in, in case it got cut out. Avery, mega awesome nerd, said, "Yeah, necrophilia jokes are usually dead on arrival anyway." There was we all laughed and we laughing were like, and, and we were knee slapping. We were like, like "Whoa, you fucking got him, Avery!" And then Ethan went way too far, and we buttoned. Him, so. <laughs> but you can clearly, after today's episode, you can clearly and forcefully say that we are the last line of defense. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is where the buff stops. Stop culture right culture here. and society is like a vortex swirling around comedians. Everybody looks to us. Wait, she's pregnant, someone said? How I, could she know that already? She was not pregnant a few days ago. Okay, well, I, th I think that's just just a random. She's been out for two weeks, damn. Pregnant, maybe we got a That movie. had to be a conjugal thing. I yeah. guess that D is good, man. Shit. Fuck. Shh. Fuck, dude. Magic. All right, listen. Magic stick. Thank you, everybody. It was such a, it was a great episode. We talked to Phidias. We did the Gypsy Rose saga was great. Wow. I think I'm going to watch that documentary tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got lamb chops. Oh, oh my wow. God. I forgot even the best part of the <laughs> yeah. day. I went and checked if he was still out there. Yeah, he's not. He bailed. Yeah. <laughs> he's a trooper. He, he, he really, mm -hmm. he's a good cook too. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he is. Shout out. Well, friends, uh, thank you for watching. It's nice to be back. That's Wednesday in the can for y'all. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this is perfect. I've missed this song. <laughs> thank you to the members. You guys make it all possible. I appreciate y'all so very much. And we'll be back on Friday for another slam dunk action packed. Yeah. Banger of an episode. Oh, and we're bringing BTS back for members. That's yep. right. And the first one is going to be really good, right? Yeah. Yeah. And actually, o only the first one. Though. I thought of it. Yeah. I was reminded right now because the Jersey Lawman will be in it. Oh, right. It's the um, live show, BTS. Yep. That'll be great. Cool. But uh, yeah. 
See you guys on Friday. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, everybody. Love you.